All right, all right, all right. How's everybody doing? Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Welcome to the show. Are we playing a little bit of a crew? As as always lately, actually. We've been doing it a lot. I hope you have some friends jump in here. We're playing on Stadia. Looks like Live is launching a new Ooh, it's live contracts. Launching. Each one is an exciting activity you can do out the, the world. Bridge thing, but that's Complete fine. the contract, we'll do it. and Drift, live will Drift. reward you. Okay. And the best part okay. is a new contract okay. every day. Stick with this, and we'll. Give me them icon points. Oh, no, I didn't want to spend it there, but that's fine. It's all good. It's all gravy, baby. I think Artie should be jumping on here shortly. I need to go fly under five bridges. Okay. Where would be a good place for a bridge? Question mark. Comma. Maybe out here. Here to a plane and try to find a bridge basically two out of five I'm going under bridges so get out of here there we go is this a bridge does this count i don't know well it counts as you actually go under the bridge though right Oh my lord. That's actually extremely difficult. Lordy, can you get under the bridge? That's even that's even a question right there. I don't even know if they're gonna even call us the bridge. Probably not. Oh lordy. Why does it do that? Is it like randomly putting me in awkward places? What if I just do it upside down? Is that gonna count? I can't do it upside down. I can't even do it. I can't even do it right side up. It's just on a different bridge. Looks like a horrible idea. I don't. I don't think that's gonna be even considered a bridge. Is the problem? Is it? Lordy, come on, man. You can't, you can't angle this thing. It's horrible. Is that a bridge? Yes. Okay, thank you. So it needs to be a bridge in different locations. So let's take it back now, y'all. One hop this time. Mercy. Why are you throwing me in the middle of the match, like heading towards trees? What's wrong with you, sir? Are you insane? This thing is not very aerobatic. Nope. 
Rip. I can't get it in. I can't get this thing in here. This is nuts. This is insane. What's wrong with me? Mom? Oh my lord. This is the stupidest mission. I literally should have skipped this mission. Just completed oh, your first you. contract. Now to get the yeah, reward, you need to go back to HQ. No. I don't know what he's doing. So I want to switch over. Here Drift. you'll find the different things you can do with each family. It's everything tagged on the live map, just organized differently. You can find events, of course, sorted by disciplines. Skills are also here, so you can try to beat records set by your friends and rivals. And last but not least, there's the photo album. Still Forge Plan. A quick reminder, the secondary. for each event, there's a recommended level. Make sure to check that out before taking a shot. Sure, you can choose to ignore the recommendation because you're that good. But it's always better to know the rules before breaking them, right? Here we go. Please do not annoy the drivers. Three, three, two, two. One. We definitely need to change the car up, I believe. Let's see what happens if I do that. Thank you. 
What's up, Zach? How you doing, man? Hello. Domo regato, Mr. Robato. How you doing, my man? River on. Still feel like it's like wrong time. No, no, no sleep. Have a beard now. Dude, this beard it just it just grows like crazy. It's only been it's only oh, I saw you yesterday. Just kidding. This thing just goes crazy. My beard hair connects to my chest hair, which connects to my my back hair. I think I'll just move this up right here. Mm, let's try. see what happens there you miss yours your back hair or your chest bro there we go south Detroit so stadia is free yeah Yeah, free. You go like this, and then you go to. Uh, let me see if it'll let me do this. No, it won't let me. Um, no, it's always been been. Uh, it didn't apparently flop. It hadn't even come out yet. That's where they're, they're just now release. They they've been waiting to release the uh, free version. They still have a pro version. And they're giving people pro for two months, uh, just like they gave everybody else. It's always been really free. Uh, the whole like the whole uh, getting a Stadia controller and Chromecast is the controller costs sixty nine bucks and the Chromecast costs sixty nine bucks. So there's the hundred twenty nine dollars of buy in for founders. That's all it is. And that's just so you can play on TV. That just gave you early access to be one of the first people to play it. And then they got a free version for all the everybody else who. But, and then whenever people get on Stadia for free, it's like, well, how do I play on my TV? Well, you got to go get the Stadia controller for $69, and then you got to have a Chromecast Ultra for $69. You're back to 130 bucks, so you should have just bought the Founders Edition. It doesn't, you know what I mean? So it's all, all, all itself equal. But, yeah. It, uh... Heard that it flopped. No. That's like saying xCloud flopped. xCloud isn't even out yet. That's like saying Amazon's uh, gaming service that they're coming out with flopped because they had to push it back because of the coronavirus. So really, Stadia doesn't even barely have a c competitor right now. You got GeForce now, but you can't do any tie-ins to GeForce games. It's just a virtual server that just plays the game. And Stadia is actually tying into the game and do cool things like with YouTube and different stuff. The same thing that uh, I said we doing with theirs and Twitch. And what Microsoft's going to do with uh, Mixer. So outside of that, GeForce is kind of like a redhead set now. So there ain't, there's like, there's to me not anything comparable out there that's available, like that's not in beta itself or whatnot. Yeah, they're still growing this and gonna continue to be doing it for the next whatever. It's not a it's not a console, it's not something you buy, it's a service. So the thing's gonna continue forever and they're gonna keep building on it. Just like YouTube, you don't like buy into YouTube, you buy YouTube premium. And then you get features, you know, to make attitude, and the and the service grows and gets better and better. That's all it is. All the, and most of the games and stuff like that that people are looking forward to or whatever else, like these game companies have had to shove back their game release dates and stuff. So it's not like Stadia's fault or anything. Like Ubisoft had to shove back Gods and Monsters, uh, Cyberpunk 2077 got shoved back um, by uh, CD Projekt Red. 
So it's like all, all of them can't hit their deadlines because of various reasons or the other. So obviously Stadia can't offer the game if it doesn't come out. $9.99 a month if you are going to do uh, 4K gaming. Otherwise it's 1080p and you don't get any discounts in the games. Like they've been given about two to three free games every month. So for that $9.99 I'm getting like three games for $9.99 plus 4K gaming on my 4K TV. I'm like sold. The full, the, everything on Destiny, everything on that I've played the heck out of. I'm kind of tired of now, but uh, but yeah, it's been way worth it. So like, let's see, like they've given um <clears throat> so they've given stacks on stacks, spit link, serious Sam. Uh, Farming Simulator 19, Steam World Dig, Steam World Quest, Grid, Destiny 2, Metro Exodus. Uh, I think two or three of the Tomb Raiders I have. Uh, Thumper, Guilt, and Samurai Showdown. So most of the stuff, whatever, they just give you for free so far. And it's only been out since November or whatever. So in a couple months, they just have given a bunch of games. Dun, 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 but yeah, you don't have to pay the 999. If you don't want to. And then you get to you get to if you so you basically play the two months and then if you don't want to renew, you just click up there into your little stadia setting purchases and subscriptions right there and you click unsubscribe right there. And when you unsubscribe, you play free. And those games that they give you, or whatever, that you've claimed, go away. And the games that you bought, stay there. And the progress that you've made on the games that go away, still stay there. So it's just up in the cloud. And then as soon as you renew again, then, then they show back up. And then you start back off where you were. So like I've bought The Division 2, Assassin's Creed, Borderlands, Red Dead Redemption, uh, Final Fantasy. The other ones, all the other games are free. And I bought the crew too. But yeah. But yeah, you can see the games. These are pretty much like pro games or whatever they'll give you there too. And then. Um, but yeah, so you'll get like deals. So like Kind, where it's $19.99, where somebody who's not on Stadia Pro would pay $19.99, and then you'll pay $10. And then kind can also be like a free game, for, you know, that they'll give like next month. So there's there's things like that constantly. So uh, see, so you'll see all the little discounts, new releases. There's Doom Eternal, Lost Words Beyond the Page, uh, Tom Clancy's The Division. I don't know what it's at right now, but it was like nine ninety nine for the standard edition of that on sale. Uh, the crew too I got for like 20 bucks or whatever so it was pretty uh, cheap I'm not into the sports games or the Mortal Kombat and stuff attack on title 2 Dragon Ball Z Darksiders Genesis uh, the Destiny 2 kind of came with it uh, football manager 2020 I'm out dance just dance 2020 monster energy supercross but yeah, they're still they're still building it. They got Ghost Recon Breakpoint, The Division Two, Trials Rising, Wolfenstein Youngblood. But they should have 120 games by the end of uh, uh, 120 games in 2020, including 10 exclusives. It's on track to bring more than 120 games basically by the end of the year. Uh, I think Cyberpunk 2077. Um, their release date is September still. They're still trying to hit that September date. But yeah. But yeah, so there hasn't been much news about it because you got it like like right now, literally, is the news. 
Google Stadia free Polygon, Google Stadia rating, rating Android TV app, uh, TechCrunch, Google Stadia now free for everyone, Stadia Pro free, blah, 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 Business Insider free one day ago, IGN one day ago. So literally they just made headlines right now. Most people don't even know that the dang service even exists. That's been the problem with why. Hey, I'm going to party with you. What's up, man? Yeah. Uh, there what up, what up? Did you just send me an invite, Spider? Like a few minutes ago? I saw you send you an invite like uh, 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. I w was in the middle of one race and I went and fixed my protein shake and all that. But by the time I did all that, that's why I waited. But then I went to join it and it showed it from a day ago. It didn't show the new one. I knew you had seen mm -hmm, Weird. Mm -hmm. I we, <laughs> I probably won't be playing very long tonight because we're gonna try to fix that attic tomorrow. So we had to, we gotta replace the whole door and all that. And that's if I don't know. My dad's I got swolled up <laughs> from something. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Gotta tell him to stop getting out in those fights, man. I don't know what happened. I guess he got bit by something, but. If he don't sleep good, he's gonna let me know, and I'll have to tell my friend to hold off so we can. He's gonna be like. Wait another day. Tuck me in. Wouldn't be bad if you know, two of us are gonna have to hold it while one of us is up in the attic and. That's very loud. Like, shimming it down. Let's see. Let's go, boys. Y'all ready to get to the top? Y'all ready to be number one on the leaderboard? Yeah, I don't really care anymore. You do. <laughs> the, I just care about getting my crap. There's, I made you crew leader sweater. Let's see. Stick with this, and we'll be rolling it. My kind of points. Hold on, let me collect my points here. Why would, why would you get? Oh my lord. Okay, collect this one. Mmm. Mmm. That's hot. I still don't have enough for the elite bundle, man. Are you kidding me? I know. I'm only. I'm still got about a million more to go. Oh, <laughs> wow. sad. Yeah, I don't. I don't have that much to go. Uh, I'm about one million five hundred twenty-nine thousand. I'm at two million time, something so right now. So yeah, it won't take that long once you get. So I haven't figured I'd just burn some hyper races again. And... Now we can show off even more vehicles at the house. Shut up and drive, drive, drive. But tonight probably wouldn't be the best night to be burning the room since I'm probably going to get off in about an hour or so anyways. All right, who's down for a 30-minute hypercar race? We can do it. I'm just kidding. I'm down. Just kidding. What did you say? I'm down. Uh, wait, are you getting off, though? I was just Here, messing because you, you were like, I'm getting off. I'm going to be on very long. And I'm like, it's who's down for a hypercar race? Uh, I mean, I'll do it. I mean, if we do two of them in an hour. Here, we'll do the small ones. Oh, we still got some of the small ones to do, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, even if we did the big one, we could do two in an hour. I'm getting off in about an hour, so it'll be fine. I got four small ones to do. How about that? Uh, that's fine. All right, invitation sent, boy. I actually am getting to where I kind of like the hyper car races as bad as it sounds. The more we do them, the more I'm like okay with them. Oh, 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 Zebra Man. You look so hot. Zebra Woman, you gotta watch out. Zebra Woman, man. that's true. Yeah. Be careful with that. Oh, oh, wait. Quick Jacob, did you get a oh, new she car? Oh, she was my gym. We had that. Level. That's sure the same car I've been using. Okay. I was sure just checking because that was like, the because you're I was like, what's up? But it's always what's up? It looked like it was like Candy Apple Red right? over there. Like you should have been in a rap song. <laughs> candy, candy. <laughs> Let's go. Watch out for the fox. Oh, Jesus. What did the fox say? Ooh, ooh, Art, ooh, Artie. It's not a bit. Last long if there's a bunch oh, of Oh, Jacob. Oh, Jacob. What did you <laughs> make it happen? Ah, oh, let's, go. Mother oh, let's go! Oh God, let's go! Did Jacob? Did oh, you take him out, Jacob? Dirty oh, truck. Truck. I thought I did, but we both. <laughs> I, yeah. I took out my phone too. That won't last long. You were right, Artie. You called it. Yeah. I t you saw me. I was all. I saw Jacob pull up, and as soon as I saw that happen, I was like all the way on the left side. I was like, mm -mm, he can have it. He, you got this, Jacob. Jacob's like, good luck to everybody else. Shoot. Say it, Jacob. <laughs> I love what he I says. Can't. 
I'm so tired right now. <laughs> oh, you can, hey, it's cause, is it, tell me, how is it with, uh, with your new friend? <laughs> Nothing but a party now, isn't it? Oh. He doesn't even know who, what you're talking about. Oh, I'm like thinking about it, like, what? You got a new person living with you? Yeah. Get his roommate. Uh huh. Party, party. Yeah. It's barely just like work. Work, like, got me tired today. Uh -huh, it's sure. got nothing to do with him so staying at yeah. a night party, and it's definitely work. That's his new roommate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was up till 4 a.m. Work was killing all me sorts today. Of different stuff like that, man. Work. <laughs> Blame the old work. Yeah. Try to sound responsible, but we all know. It's okay, Jack. Yeah. He's like, I'm like sad. Sport. I just worked because... so hard. <laughs> Why are you sad? Because I'm like debating on drinking an energy drink right now. I'm like, maybe it's not a smart idea to drink an energy drink. I had one earlier today. To get me through workout number two. Oh yeah. It got me I'm through it. I seen it and I was gonna oh stop God. by uh, the gas station to go pick one up. I just ended up not picking one up. <laughs> I went straight home. So, are you gonna drink an energy drink? I mean, I'll be on for the next uh, two, three hours, man. At least. I think I'm just gonna make some whiskey and coke. That ought to do it. Just, just some good old Coca-Cola. Oh, I thought he was talking about cocaine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's true. I can, picture, I can picture him sitting down at the table and like, like, like putting out also. a bag of powder on the white powder on the, uh, yeah. on the table and then he just like picks up a two liter and opens whiskey. it and he pours it over it and he's like <laughs> thanks a lot <laughs> <laughs> whoa <laughs> that just <sighs> a little vape afterwards he's, ready to go. he's got his nicotine his whiskey his coke cocaine it's all good Great. <laughs> He's like, I'm up, boys. I'm up, up. You'd be like, oh, I'm getting off now. I'm like, I just got here. Splashed myself. Rip. Okay, there we go. That's the crew right there, man. The inside of this car is very Batmobilish. It's insane. Just a little bit Good longer, and I would have really? caught up with Jacob. I know, <laughs> <laughs> right, I believe it. I was right there behind yeah, you, side pass and finish line. It would have been bad if I didn't like get hit again. I have the worst luck when it comes to ah, anyone sweet. else in front of me. <laughs> ah, sweet. Hey, now I get another colored loot. Woohoo! I got to hear this again. <laughs> You've got yellow loot. I've never seen that before. Up till now, we only had green loot. <laughs> Yellow loot's mechanic stream. I got it. We're, we're going to be like dead tired. We're, we need to like film this. Send it to uh, Ubi. Uh, uh, this, is what you, this is what you've done to us. Could you please <laughs> fix? <laughs> Up till now, we only had green loot. Yeah, look. Loot. Yellow loot. Up till now. We only had green loot. Alright. This is why we need to go legit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That car's really fast. Is that legal? <laughs> None of this is really legal. <laughs> that's, uh... Dang, that's how you know you played that race so many times. I know. Oh my god, oh, geez. This is so true. I feel like I, I, have, I don't yeah. have this car suited up, so you guys may uh, pair me up on this one. Well, historically, I have pieces. great starts, I'm just kidding. rough middles, and some pretty good endings. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> That's where oh, I go. God. Oh, God. Oh, this is on the AC8, huh? It's on what? Ace? I think so. Yeah. Oh! oh. It's fine. I was the wrong turn. 
Hold on to your butt. Oh, oh, oh my god. I don't know. That turn Same. threw me off there for a second. Uh oh. Where'd Jacob go? I'm coming. He's a ninja. He's like, see you soon, honey. I'll be home soon. First place. I don't know how you're doing Wait, it, but this dude just said up. first place. I don't know how you're doing it, but keep it up. I'm behind Ari. <laughs> 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 it's a key effort, man. It's a key effort. First place. I don't know how you're doing Look it. Up. We've been, we've been first the place then. It was like such a lag or something. Three minutes later, you're like in eighth place. And he's like, first place. I don't know how you're doing it, but <laughs> <laughs> keep it up. <laughs> keep it up. Like, okay. Rip. Right, left, right. What is my life coming to? That's wrong, Jake. Aww. He's happy. <laughs> I thought he was half asleep. Sure now. <laughs> Holy guac, Artie. <laughs> what kind of V crossover? I've been practicing that move for 45 minutes and it moves. <laughs> 45 minutes. <laughs> That's what you were doing. Hit the hit the right, we drug over to the left, bounced off of that wall, and then went right, like V to the right. I'm like, what the hell? Can't get past that. car either so I don't think I'm catching up with anything. They only raced it just like once. Only bought it for one of those uh live events or whatever. Oh the Europe one. That was that it's one. the Panini or whatever the heck it is. Hey Panini, don't you be your mini, huh? Jacob, get it. <laughs> get that. Yellow blue. Wow, thanks, Mom. Yellow blue. Something down there. Dream. <laughs> Is that yellow loot? <laughs> yellow loot a mechanic's dream. Every part yellow you loot is a mechanic's stuff, dream. If you collect a set of seven specific pieces, you if get you a super a cool new bonus. Seven specific there pieces. are five sets with five different no, bonuses. I'm still having that. Only the two yellow pieces that are freaking me to finish off this. Time. But wow, Stupid. is it worth Hunt it? Hunt for yellow crap. Well, it may take some time, but uh, wow, is it worth it? It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody say, well. Well. That'll be my new thing instead of that's what she that's said. It'll be that's what Hero said. <laughs> that's what Hero said. And <laughs> you say it like in real life, and they're going to be like, who's Hero? It's <laughs> some guy, man. He don't. And then you just go, you just say all of his codes while they ask you questions. <laughs> Hero Nagasaki? Yeah. Two. What TV One. show is that? That's uh, Heroes. Yeah. On the next episode of Heroes. That's don't forget. Your breaks are there for a reason. You mean was I good could, and got you progressively worse than Tom at all. You mean I could fly? No. Never watched I'm saying you can absorb their powers. Whoa. 
Oh. My name is Hiro. I go to oh, gosh. America oh, and I save you. Oh, Don't do it, Hiro. Stop. You're sucking out his brain. On the next episode. That's it. There you go. That's the show. So it's like Dragon Ball G. Basically. Uh, it just got progressively worse this time at all. <laughs> <laughs> What, what the, the heroes did? Yeah, yeah, it just got worse and worse. The more seasons I went into, the more it was like, okay. I think it was just, you know, you have like all these, like, you're looking for the story and there's always like many stories that then relate to like one big story, but then it just like, it's yeah. like, it's like watching the uh, Avengers for the 17th time. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, it is. like Avengers the number 17. Off, you know, it's it like, like, yeah, that. I get it. The whole Iron Man, Captain America, doing the same crap every day. Got you. Yeah, I think they like, thought the show was just gonna make like one season and that was it. They <laughs> kind of thing, and it was like, uh, we're gonna make it stretch out a little bit longer. It became like a cult thing where everybody was like, "It's pretty good." Yeah. That's like the John Wick movies. The very first one was really just a one-off. They never thought it was gonna catch on. They just were thinking we're gonna make one of an action movie and that's it. Around the third one, I was like, "Let me guess." Yeah. He's got a price on his head. Oh, <laughs> oh, <Jacob. laughs> oh no, it's Jacob. That was so rough. Why is there a car I in the just, middle of the... <laughs> he gets street. that car head old at like a 200 miles per hour. He's like, hey, I'm over here like, yup, I caught a car, dude, let's go. <laughs> yeah, but how he's still going though, that's what I want to know. How, it never, how he didn't even stop him. I told you he's got that bulldozer up to level 25. Sure he does. I think I do actually. <laughs> for uh, it wasn't for this, but it was for that derby thing that we were doing. Was there, Jacob? Where are you? Huh? Where are you? At home. <laughs> <laughs> In my room. <laughs> so wait, what's the Brandy song? Sitting up in my room. Something like that. Seven thirty. No, uh -huh. I love when you're talking dirty. No, that's that's so anxious. <laughs> that's different. That's different. <laughs> oh. oh wow, that messed me up really bad. Hey, hold up, Artie. I got something I want to talk to you about. Okay. Just stop wherever you are. You talk to me once we finish. <laughs> no, no, oh. no, I'm gonna need you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you off. Off. No, I, need, I need you to talk like man, right now. I need, no. Tap your brake three times if you like me. <laughs> oh wait, I'll tap it once I get to the finish line. <laughs> tap your brake four times if you <laughs> if you're nice. Tap your brake seven times if you love me. Just just tap your brakes. Well, you may catch up with all these turns now that I got. If you uh, see any shortcuts, just let me know, okay? Sure. I'm gonna... Let me uh, catch up with you. Oh my lord, I hit the one tree. I'm out. The one tree. Yeah, I'm out here messing up on these turns. <laughs> To the left, to the left, there's a shortcut. <laughs> Over to the left. And then Artie said he could find another me in a minute. <laughs> I could find another you in a minute. Honestly, I don't remember songs. <laughs> to the right, to the right. Everything young. It's a Beyonce the song, to you know, right. to the left, to the left. Hey, I knew that part. Everything young, the box to the left. That's all, no. Oh. All these other the songs you're talk about, I'm like, uh-huh. That sounds nice. Oh, I hope you have insurance, sir. <laughs> no. Artie's like, if it doesn't go, da -na, da -na, at the beginning, it's like, yeah, I'm out. If it doesn't break down my face. <laughs> this song is too slow. 
Wrong. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, if they don't have like 20 let's goes in their album, then it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or let's rock. Uh, what's up, my man? How you doing? Hola. Or now they do the. Bleh. <laughs> Bleh. Da -da 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 -da. Bleh. Um, you need the. Uh, <laughs> Five, 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 two, six, six, six. Three, two, spit. One. Oh my god, did everybody in the audience just spit? Yeah, because the guy said spit. Oh, uh, that's gross, no, he said bro. spit. I, I, I thought he said spit. I was in the middle and I was getting trampled. <laughs> I was getting trampled at that last show. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that was pretty rough. I wasn't expecting, I mean, I knew it was going to get rough, but I wasn't expecting them to get, like, that rough that quick. It's just <laughs> it was the very first song, and it was, like, full force 100. <laughs> I know. A thousand miles per hour. It always kills me in the, uh, in those, like, in moshes or every concert I go to, it never fails. There is some six-foot-something dude, and I know you six-foot-something people. You gotta, you know, want to enjoy the show, too. But why you gotta get up front, number one? <laughs> You're six foot something tall. You know what I mean? Like, come on. And, you know, I always get stuck behind one and closed in to where I'm spending my entire time trying to look to the left shoulder over the left shoulder or the right shoulder of some tall dude. Or we're in the middle of that dang mosh pit and the dude's six foot something or whatever. Like, yeah, let's do this. Let's have fun. And I'm looking up and I'm like, let's not. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Bro just got done working out, and he looks like he's, like, out of it, zoned out, like, let's go! You know what I mean? And I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. mm, -mm. No. Don't use your whole body weight. You're weighing in at 250, 64, man. Like, you don't need to be, <laughs> you don't need to be running into the crowds, bro. It's just not good. All right, Jacob. <laughs> oh, man, I missed it. Every time, man. Point two. Pretty rough, and then like for me, I'll get real close to the stage almost every time, but I can't get past the two six foot, four hundred and fifty pound guys <laughs> that are like sandwiched together so nobody can get mine. <laughs> Would you TV. jump up on the stage, are you? <laughs> nah, I don't know. Because now in my luck, I'd probably get pushed off and split my head open. I know. I always, every time it, like people do crazy stuff, I'm just always sitting back like, yep, this would be my luck, man. Like, I do not want to be halfway buzzed and trying to make my way to the hospital with a whole bunch of people that are like, should have done that, dummy. You know, I'm, just, yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not there about making a fool of myself. Trying to. I'd have even tried to and still do, you know what I mean? Come on. I'm reaching the point now where, like, it was fun going into the crowds and stuff, but if there's a balcony, I'll probably go that route. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I've reached that age group. There you go. Like, there you go. Welcome uh, to my world. It was fun, but I mean, balconies are nice too. Yeah. To be able to sit back and sip my drink without somebody bumping into me and it going everywhere, or somebody's drink going on me, or somebody crowd surfing over my head while I'm trying to film something or take a drink or whatever. It's just like, oh my geez. Yeah. It's not into it. I mean, I think for anybody that's into that kind of music, or even if you're not, and you go to that kind of concert, I think you have to go into the crowd at least once. And then after that, you know, just decide what you think is best. But I think you need to experience the crowd and all that. And then after that, you know, get out and go sit in the back. <laughs> I did. Something. It was a good experience. I literally enjoyed it more whenever, like, I backed out of it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, this is nice. After you, because, like, when you're in it, it just seems, like, yeah, stressful. You know? Well, you, part like, of it, you don't really get to enjoy watching the band perform. Yeah, like, yeah, so. yeah. It's not as intense. It's just the yeah. intensity level goes down the further back you go, you know? Yeah. You're also not worried about getting your head knocked knocked off but <laughs> yeah, getting kicked in from a, somebody crowd surfing yeah somebody with their steel toed Kodiak work boots on that decided to, <laughs> <laughs> that decided to go crowd surf yeah. 
And you then, got me, uh, man. You got me. Okay, here I go. It's like, pfft, oh, did you just hit me with a steel teleport? Because it hit yeah, there. Like 80,000 people. And it was full. Everybody and there, a neo Nazi. Combat. There was on. some gothic chick that was crowd surfing. Every time she come up, she had her shirt off, and I'm like, dude, I don't want to touch her. <laughs> I don't want to touch her. <laughs> I'm all for like shirtless girls and everything, but not that one. <laughs> Looks like some boiled eggs coming down into the crowd. I'm like, oh man, oh, I'm out. Man. <laughs> that is she got closer. I just gotta slide over to the right or left and be like, "Ah, oh, bro, I'm out." Uh, <laughs> to the left now, y'all. <laughs> She's like, "Yeah, just touch me." Artie's like, mm. Mm -mm. "Even the band wasn't liking hers. So they're like, hey, dude, keep her back.'" <laughs> dude, I know. Like I said, I remember the first uh, um, the used concert or whatever. I went to where a chick had thrown up her bra, uh, and the dude and the lead singer had picked it up. And I was like, "What the hell is this? Like A's or whatever?" And then threw it back, and he was like, "Get that!" And he smelled it, and he was like, "Get that stinky stuff back!" Away. And I was just like, "You being that girl that just threw that up there, you have got to be like." I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> you know, you just like totally <laughs> embarrassed me. Yeah. And he was like, get that uh, crap out of there. Threw it back it in the crowd. Bad. I was like, okay. Yeah, that was like not nice at all. Yeah. Actually, when we went to I.O., Under Oath was probably the craziest as far as like crowd wise. They were one of the smaller stages, but they were legit. And they were pretty, they needed to be on the main stage. They put them on the second stage. But we turned and looked and like it was. All we were there like scrapped, 20 to 30 minutes beforehand and then we looked back like 15 minutes after we got there and we couldn't see nothing but people <laughs> so crap oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty bad <laughs> and it was i think we threw they only did like a 30 minute set and i have a feeling we threw like 30 or 40 people like it was just ridiculous how many people were crowd surfing guys We've done just about, let's do street race here. Oh, wait, y'all have already done all the street race, haven't you? No, I haven't. I'm still behind on Okay. Those. Then we'll do some street races. Because we've done all, I haven't done all the drifts and ace. Uh, but I've, and I, but I, we've done all the, the I've done all the uh, um, drags. You know it. And, uh, and then I've done all the <laughs> hyper cars now. Hey, Benini. I got Don't you be a meanie. Ah. That little thing right there. <laughs> little pink thing he's driving now. Three. I'm looking forward to seeing some uh, awesome reviews on Stadia now that it's kind of gone free, you know, for everybody. Yeah. I'm not seeing negative reviews anymore, so it's almost like. And everybody was doing negative reviews before, was doing negative reviews and never even played the dang thing or played it on some crappy connection or whatever. So it's like, uh, you, you know you're playing it on a crappy connection if you say that this game, it, that this uh, platform has any issues. Because it's all an internet based thing. So you're obviously got a crappy, you know, you obviously got a crappy computer or a crappy internet. That's only two options. It's not the electricity in the air. You know what? It was a thunderstorm day. And I, outside of the occasional, every now and then, you know, we've had like some where it says like, you know, the game has had a glitch or something like that. Yeah. Outside of that, I really haven't had much issue. And I don't know about you, but it's never really been down either, you know? Yeah, no, I haven't. It's, it's never been like, sorry, Xbox Live's down today. We're, we're investigating it. The only thing I kind of notice every now and then is like a quality drop every now and then. But could it be because of your internet? Yeah, and so that's what I don't know. It shouldn't be because a lot of times I'll check the speed, but I mean, somebody could be downloading something before I get like it. Like Call of Duty Modern Warfare. <laughs> uh, <laughs> For the fifth time this month. <laughs> wait, wait, were you in here yesterday, Artie? Yeah, 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 he was getting yeah. hit, man. Yeah. I mean, I've seen Jacob like not happy but i don't know if i've ever seen him like he came in he was like 
What are you doing, man? I'm gonna fucking crap off, man. I'm just gonna cut him off. I'm just gonna block him. You know what? I'm not even playing. Maybe miss that loot. <laughs> Jacob's normally the happy go lucky guy. Last night, that's not who I saw. <laughs> who is this creature? I bet you if you turned up leaning, you know the leaning uh, thing on this? Oh, for bikes, yeah, help for bike lean. You jack that all the way up, it, it would kind of probably get rid of the fact that the bike doesn't go as fast as the other cars. Because you would be able to hit like every turn, like awesome. But, this is uh, the last race, right? You yes. choose the turn. I'm trying to be my highest score on this one. Of course, it doesn't help much whenever you're used to doing other races and then you jump back into like the street races yeah. with the hyper, you know, from hyper car to this. Yeah. So you gotta relearn how to turn. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Oh, and look. That's Jacob. That's really is Jacob in there. They said this game was realistic. <laughs> Ooh, you did. You got you got the Honda S two thousand Ultimate Edition. Look at you. That's like my. I was when I seen it. I think I was playing with Artie, and I was like, "Oh, this is a must buy." It's actually. I mean, there's a lot of people that like love Honda S two thousands, and they like take them on, twist these, and do different stuff with them, and soup them up, and. A lot of people drift them too. They're nice. It's like one of the few Hondas that are rear wheel drive. It's the only Honda. <laughs> hey, Panini. 2,144. Bam, I got it now. Buy the bundle. Let's go. Bundle purchased. I'm almost there. I'm at like, I think, 14 million. Elite I'm at 1,400 million. I'm at 1,400,000. Four, 1, <laughs> 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 you get there. <laughs> One day. <laughs> One of these days. Let's see what it gave me. Did it give me any car to play in our street race here? The Aston Martin V12 Sagato. Domo dedicato, Mr. Roboto. Okay. Oh, by the way, we got that Griffith Peppermint edition, by the way, boys. Yeah. I've been using it a little bit for these street races. Oh, I get it. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, I'm going to old school need for speed right now. It's about to happen. Underground? Uh, is that one Over of the first ones? Yeah. Yeah. I remember I played a, lot, a long time ago. Played on a, played on a PC. Underground Two was like my favorite. I liked Midnight Club better than I did the Underground ones. Midnight Club was cool because it had more of that free roaming type thing. Uh, All right, Street Race. Let's see what this thing's like. I kind of feel like they need to give me a weather report to let me know if I'm running around on my motorcycle if it's going to start snowing. <laughs> hey, change of gear. Snowing. Seems a little unrealistic for her to be like short sleeping it right now. But this game's like the ultra realistic zone, so you know. Like this bike has so much NOS in it that. Go <laughs> back and still <laughs> catch up with you on the race. Three, two. Oh, are you driving the Honda Type R? Oh no, that's Aaron. Never mind. <laughs> Now it's nothing but a sardine can after Jacob got thrown into me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Sorry, it's better. 
Oh, oh. You get it, Artie. You get a tree, too. Oh, if you're not careful. I almost did. I almost did. I was like, hey, a tree. What's in it? I've seen that whole thing in Heroes like, yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> Dude. This okay, this car doesn't I don't think it turns very well. It's maybe that steel nineteen ninety nine steel brick. <laughs> Wait, why did I pay for this? <laughs> Turn left or right. <laughs> I'm good if I'm straight. Oh god. Yeah. The thing there is that wall that I can just bounce off of. <laughs> How many times does that save everybody? Two times. Except for when you get stuck on it. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hit it directly in front place. There's so many times I'm like driving and I'm like, yeah. Boom, right off of it, and I'm like, thank god that was there. That would have been right off the cliff. <laughs> Did not have gone one. Sorry, Artie. I think I read this story. Yeah, you did, but it's okay. <laughs> Jacob's never really like held a race in the current time, so we may just have to do this again anyway. Right. I put the pressure on him. <laughs> <laughs> this is that crap you can talk you can talk crap to your friends and stuff like that, but just to let you know it never works with your wife. <laughs> it's the same stuff like I would do with you guys and stuff like that, of messing around and talking crap. I do that with her. And it's not the same. It's not the same. No. You're immediately an a-hole. There's fingers. And you're like, no, I was joking with you. It's motivation. It's like, no, it's being an asshole. It's like, okay. Guys can't throw those kind of emotions. Yeah, I'm like, guys do that all the time. We say, you know why you can't lift that? Because you're weak. You do it to a girl, they don't think about it the same way. They're not like, oh, I'll show you, but a guy does, oh, I'll show you. You know what I mean? Like, so it's just different. It's weird. You think you're going to elicit that same response. <laughs> mm -mm. I know I'm weak because I gave birth to your child. There's always, there's always, there's always, there's always, uh, it's like, who says that? You evil human being. It's like, wait, what? I say it all the time. To my friends, so well, that makes you the biggest a hole. It's like, okay, but we think it's funny sometimes. Only if you're an a hole. It's like, okay, I'm not going to this. That's what you would do to guys like in the gym and stuff, you know? You would be like, that's it? But yeah, bet you, bet you can't lift that. Is, that. is that all you're gonna work out with? You walk by, we need to like do like a show of that. You know what I mean? Like you walk by your wife, your girlfriend or whatever you look over and you're like at the gym and it's like, is that all you can lift? And it's just like, do you even lift bro? Yeah. <laughs> like, like you walk up to her and you're like, is this your first time or something? You know what I mean? Like it's just, you do stuff like that. Or maybe, maybe, maybe you weren't lifting or whatever like that. Cause you had too many donuts. You know, like start throwing stuff out like that. Like maybe we ate too much cake and see how that works. <laughs> it's just not the same. You can do it to a dude. You cannot do that to a girl. You'll be back on that single life. Yep. You're like, what did you just say? What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Lordy. I was trying to see if there was a different... I said, do, do uh oh, there it is. There, shades. That weight. <laughs> shades. What's up, Christian Taylor? How you doing? Shades said, uh, spider getting nasty. <laughs> mm -mm. Holy, holy. Oh my gosh. It's about 50 women that just came in. They're raiding the channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. Glad you're doing well. Glad you're doing well. I know. I feel like. 
I feel like I'm gonna get bombarded. B five four four. We heard man who's being dumb. Excuse me. The head shakers come in. The head bobbers. Uh uh. Oh, dude, I just need one more part to get a full uh bonus thing. I'm just. I guess the live reward one. Let me grab these, uh, rewards, sure. these gold pieces real quick and then okay now i'm ready oh, no, I finger like wags you. galore mm -mm. am i getting it do i gotta get the head going boy uh street race it Got a couple of these to do we got the harley thing too like i don't have a real harley harley like we need to buy one if we I've don't have one, one too okay I've got one. Before we do that, I'll let you and know. You'll get 95,000 on Ace anyways. With oh, I think that's the only one I didn't do on Ace was the Harley one. Wait, you've done yeah. them all, Jake? I have, yeah. Ooh. Only one I never... I want to chase my car, I want to chase my car, I want to chase my car. I've got other time. Please let me chase my car. No, this one, this one, this one. No, you didn't. How you doing, Shays, by the way? You doing all right? Man, that song's gonna be stuck in my head now. <laughs> I, know. I know. Well, you know it's been stuck in my head for a while. Sure. Maybe at eleven thirty. Never want to talk into. Got this from the get go. Uh, we'll get out of your way this time, Marty. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're welcome, sir. But you, Jacob. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. I didn't mean to do that. That actually, that actually happened. Okay, I'm gonna let. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just go. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. Oh. The, <laughs> did the whole thing, bro. Did you I was like, save oh. that? I did. <laughs> oh my Lord. I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. It's a great day. It's a beautiful Thursday. Friday tomorrow. I'm excited about that. Wayne, get off my boy. <laughs> Playing some uh, Crew Two on Google Stadia. Oh, God, Marty, hey. with the friends. I'm trying to like have Miles not crash into you. <laughs> I know. I mean, I, I I have a hard time sometimes. I go like to the right or left of those uh, barriers. Ooh. And that sucks. Oh gosh. Okay. Not gonna lie, whoever crashed into me just saved me. Oh, Jesus. it's such a mess. Oh this is a mess. Can't have a better time than that. That's true. That's true. This is a cluster. I need to take out this guy behind here. Oh, lordy, I tried to, man. I tried to. I got stuck a little short. That's okay. These, these are obviously one of those maps where you have to just, like, stay close. I can't even keep traction, dude. It's bad. And then I would assume it, like, ends up in a straightaway eventually. I mean, you'd be in there. Get off him, Wayne. Oh, this is Miles. Wayne. Bruce Wayne's up forward here. A second. I'll get Wayne out of oh here. Oh my lord, that happened. That happened, coach. You're doing all right, but dead last is not what Oh, Easter going. weekend too. That's true. That's true. By the way, market isn't open, so. Grand Noodle, what's up? How you doing? Okay. I feel like I don't have to pick it up because I got my friends like pulling it, so. Uh, crap. And actually just. Talk and pay attention to the, the stream. <laughs> oh, How are you guys doing? If anybody's got a Stadia too, it is free. You do have to buy the crew too if you want to play the crew too. I just knocked a car through a fence with my motorcycle. <laughs> what a beast. Oh, you just unlocked the helicopter, the live. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I haven't figured out the uh, purpose Dude, of the live helicopter my car. yet oh, either. No. I mean, I guess it works better as far as finding live loot uh, than an airplane, if that's what you, if that's what the intention of it is. But they need to do something like helicopter race, I don't know. Something to do with that, right? What does it all mean? What is it for? I think we're kind of one section away. Make sure, oh, make sure you do the uh, those live rewards or whatever, man. Those live uh, 
lot of things, man. They they wish you a big time. Yeah, yeah. We're flying around. Cause there is, you know, the live rewards uh where your radar beeps, where you can find the live loot boxes out in the on the map somewhere. Which the planes aren't really that great for it because you can't just kind of uh and I think because it has live on the side of that thing, that may be what they're wanting it for, you know what I mean? It's so that you can use a helicopter and kind of go slow around the map without like flying by with the plane. Is that yellow loot? Up until now we've only had green loot. It's a mechanic stream. It's a mechanic stream. I'm gonna go make a drink real quick. Don't do it. Okay, do it. That one second pause means the world. I need you to know that. Holy fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's definitely the best best to make sure you're entering in those and knocking those out. Especially since they just kind of unlock Stadia being free and stuff. Um, so a lot of people will probably be able to get entered and, and start playing on Stadia. So I'm suspecting more more people would would jump in. Since the barrier to entry now is just like buying the crew too, which you would have to do that on any other platform pretty much. Or unless you, you play plus, pay a subscription, but I'm still waiting for that you play plus integration. I'm waiting for it. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. And they've also got some uh, people who found code talking about um, doing live streaming and all kinds of stuff with Stadia. So I'm interested to see where it goes. They've also got touch screen type uh, controls for phone, mobile that there's code for. Where you don't necessarily have to use a controller which isn't the best but would give you an option if you were like on the road and didn't want to bring a controller with you that's cool too as long as you don't have a an iphone because right now the iphone store is just not ready for this type of stuff keep blocking it blocking it out they block any kind of subscription-based type stuff. That's the problem over there. Why it's not available on iPhone? Because you can buy stuff through their app, through a, through a secondary app. So you can download one app and then buy and purchase new stuff, and then iPhone would get a cut of it, or Apple would get a cut of it. So they kind of, by default, previously in their contracts, have disallowed that type of stuff on the, on the iPhone platform or the Apple platform. So. Not exactly sure when it's ever going to come to Apple at that point because of that rule. I feel like it's ever going to come. <laughs> I mean, Apple would have to change their rule on it. I don't know when's the last yeah. time they changed the rule. We'll why, laugh about you know. this after you come back. It, that's just how Apple is. Dude. They suck when, like, it sucks. <laughs> and it's not that they were trying to, like, block state or G Force now. Of course, now or whatever, we probably need to redo this. Uh, uh, yeah. Get get a uh, Jacob in here, anyways. I'm about to just like buy a uh, buy a pixel just to play on the side. <laughs> uh, you could probably get the uh, we we'll get one of these uh, like three A, four A's, one of the ones that are the uh the newer ones but are like a less they don't have like you're not paying for extra body and bull crap you know what i mean you're kind of just getting the core it's just cheap would be like a cheap cheap entry onto it have my little burner phone on the side <laughs> i'll uh i'll add in a second line no i'm not gonna do that <laughs> he's like no I <laughs> you have a note nine so i've been set 
set than my phone for a while. Nice. I thought it worked well. I still, although not perfect, you know what I mean? Like playing on a small phone, I still use it for just in my life with having, you know, a wife, I have a wife and a kid. And basically, I could be sitting in the living room my son want to watch something or whatever and he can watch it and then what else am I going to do you know I got to sit there and watch him you know or watch watch him watch him watch it watch something else so it's almost like I pop out my, my phone I got the uh, I got the uh, pixel clip with the uh, Whoa! That was intense. <laughs> <laughs> God dang! I just wrecked it. That was like a movie. Right at the start. Dang movie. it, Artie! <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> that was you watching that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I seen the whole thing too. <laughs> I think you ran over that tree stuff like at a perfect angle. No, they, no, Artie was pulling out after he wrecked. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. I did that first part. Yeah, I just want it so I can, like, not be bored at work. <laughs> yeah, the Pixel 4a, yep. Or the Pixel 5 coming out is supposed to be, they're supposed to be moving from, like, high-end uh, to more, like, mid-range type thing, which I don't doubt they can do something well in mid-range. Instead of trying to offer a premium and trying to find this, like, $1,000 price tag everything seems to be wanting to hang out at. Right. If they come out and then they have like a seven hundred dollar phone or six hundred dollar phone that you can pay off in six months, you know what I mean? Like it's like that's kind of gonna be good. I'm over here with like a lot better. eighteen more months to pay off my phone. Yeah, because it doesn't <laughs> look like it's bad, so they're starting to get people on the oh, do you want Versace? You want Versace sh shoes? You know what I mean? It's like just pay ten dollars for the rest of your life, you know? And everybody's like, ah, I could pay ten dollars, you know? And you start doing that, and throughout your life, you're basically paying a uh, heck of a lot. Shoes, you know, no. you're paying, you're still paying for nine hundred dollars shoes. You know what I mean? Like it's like, it's just over time, and you just don't see the big chunk of payment. So it just becomes okay, but yet still, it's still dang expensive. A thousand dollars for a phone is still expensive. You can technically buy a little beater car with that. <laughs> That's true. Good. You can get, you know. This last place. Same price, you man. Thinking? You got the same thing. You've got like uh, laptops and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like Chromebooks, laptops, this and that, which is basically that same dang phone. <laughs> I mean, like an Android Chromebook. It is that phone. Larger. I'm having trouble here, guys. Sorry. We're pretty much on. <laughs> That's true too. That's true too. Shade said, "We pretty much, we pretty much always renting everything. We just passing through. <laughs> so don't worry, be happy. <laughs> it's true. We are. Everything's for rent. There's really no, there's really no owning anything. That's why it's funny listening to people talk about the whole thing. Uh, I don't want to buy a game on Stadia because I don't own it." <laughs> You know those games you own? You don't own when you die at 80 years old. <laughs> you know what I mean, like, it's, it's irrelevant. It's all about the experience, right? People, like, go to Disney World and stuff, and they don't own Disney World. You don't own the theater when you go watch a movie. You're like, yeah. That's what's so funny watching people with Stadia. It's like, oh, I don't want to pay any money on money towards Stadia because you know, I mean, it's digital and I don't own it. And they're like, anyways, I'm gonna go watch Netflix. <laughs> I'm like, you don't own any of that. I'm gonna go watch Disney Plus. I'm gonna go pay my car insurance. What do you need your car insurance for? Well, you know, I mean, in case anything happens, you get absolutely nothing until in case anything happens. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's no way a computer just hit me like that. <laughs> yep. So just about everything is like that, man. That's just, it's non-stop. Your TV, you own your TV right about until it starts going and it breaks. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you own it. 
You own your Xbox until it doesn't read discs anymore. <laughs> or when you see that red ring. Yeah, or that red ring. That's when you don't own it anymore. That's when you own it. That's when you own a piece of crap. <laughs> I think that's when I, I went through like probably about four or five Xboxes through my life because of the red ring. I and did. before they even fixed it. I did. But we sat at least spent a lot of time on that. But Xbox is the best. You shut your mouth, sir. Xbox is Xbox. way better than PlayStation. I don't care about the sales numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that you had to replace about 20 of them. <laughs> or when you get banned for life or modded discs. Just oh, me? yeah. Just, just me? That's what Shane I, said. I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's like, Joe wait, why can't fun. I get online anymore? <laughs> I think that one's going to be my last one, so I'll probably head on out. Sorry, guys. My allergies are killing me here. About to kill my eyeballs. I'm about to rip them out of the socket. Alrighty, Artie. Alrighty, Artie. Thank right. you for playing, brother. Stay Great. Cool, Appreciate you. Boy. I'll be. I should be on tomorrow night. So if you are playing then. Shades. If you ever want to jump I'll in, you know, you. become a pro driver, like your boy here. Feel free. Feel free. Not have to worry about breaking down. I know. Honestly, the whole fact of being able to just go like this and say all right let me see what else i'm doing over here blah 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 and then this oh hold on let me go let me go play a game and in a browser is just get out of here it's just so uh, give me a second let me reboot my chrome <laughs> it's just so oh. like bam quick oh never mind i'm back where i was it's just insane I, it's killed like i remember at the beginning people were calling it a, a daddia or whatever and uh yeah it, it it is it's daddy for me that's what i'm calling it i can literally pick it up play a game pop off in a second take care of a kid or whatever like that and then go oh wait i've got 15 minutes before it actually closes my session if i pop on in 15 minutes and I, he doesn't need me and i settle whatever he's having an issue or screaming about then i can pop back on and i'm right back where i was even if i just closed it down you know my boy dre is streaming uh -oh. What's he streaming? I have no idea. Hold Call on. of Duty. <laughs> Fortnite. I like watching his stream because like Dre has like a really good taste in music. Oh, that 37 viewers. He's so famous. He has a, what music? He's in <laughs> just chat. Uh, out of darkness. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's his dance friends. Women don't have good depth perception. Car racing games, I don't know. You're dealing with the possibility of different console components breaking down or having issues. Same with PC. Same with PC, though. Yeah, anyone with a brain cannot debate that. I know. I know. Totally agree. It's true. That's what I don't get. I love it. Even if you are on the perspective that, hey, I've got a PC. That's I don't need Stadia or whatever. Like I can play the game on my PC, but that's great. You don't have the portability. Then you don't also have the fact that that PC you might not always have. So the PC has parts to break down. Drive like you the never games heard get better. Of the graphics card needs upgraded. You know what I mean? The memory, the whatever, the virus, the hard drive dies. The you need bigger space. Oh, Morty, missed the checkpoint off of that. You serious? Right. I'm over here watching Dre's stream on the side at the same time while I'm driving. I know. I know. But yeah, the Uni Space part is killer, man. Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption came out for 150 gigs for that one game. You're in last place. I can't. Man. Somebody's cheating. I can't talk and uh, drive for some reason. Today. My bad, guys. I'm usually much better than this. I don't know what's going on. Why do oh I my know? gosh! I need. <laughs> is it is it both of us? Is this what happens yeah, when, we, I'm when like, we played and streamed like, every, <laughs> every day? Yeah, I'm like watching this and <laughs> listening to what he's saying, and then, oh, then, then I'm listening to what you're saying at the same time, and then I'm going. <laughs> we might have to retry this, bro. This is a short race. Hold up. He brought me up. Hold on. I know. I feel like I need to bring this focus here for a second. Is it just turns on this one? Oh, wait. I'm 
not, uh, this motorcycle stops whenever I have to like really turn. It's not good at turning right now. I don't have the setup for it. <laughs> oh, he's bringing up some stuff. So yeah, I think the last, uh, I know, internet's only getting better, man. Yep, same. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my, I'm gonna get my headphones. PC is getting pretty old, so instead I don't need to worry about upgrading nearly as much. I totally agree. The same thing I was thinking, man. When the first, uh, when the G, when the, when the Nvidia uh, uh, 980 Ti's came out, I bought two of them, and I was like, oh, I'm really gonna like, you know, do awesome because I was trying to get them to like what can do 4K at the time and all the rest of the stuff, right? Because I just wanted to see something in 4K, and they were brand new, brand new, and for like 600 something dollars a piece, right? So I paid $1,200 for graphic cards to get 4K experience. And I still got that one of the 980Ti's. I sold the other one. Um, so I only have one 980Ti because SLI just doesn't work very well half the time. Um, most games don't support it or you don't really get 100% you know, utilization out of the second graphics card to begin with. Um, but that being said, after all that and all the hardware support and the extra graphics card that may go out and the heat and the water-cooled PCs and the whatever I've been through, it's like just insane to think that I can get somewhat of a 4K or a 4K experience out of Stadia without um, without dealing with all that crap, without worrying about the performance of anything or whether I've got something running or when I'm streaming how can I stream and play the game that I want to play at 60 frames per second and all that kind of stuff? It's irrelevant now at this point. It's not even using partial of my PC. You know what I mean? Streamlabs right now is using 5.8% of my CPU. This game's using whatever. I could probably check my my uh, my utilization or whatever of my PC and it not be much at all, you know? I'm right now at 38% CPU usage, 28% memory. 41 and 28, 39, 36 and 28, 34, 34% CPU usage, 37%, 38, 41, 40. Doesn't even like affect it, but yet if I was streaming and actually playing on my computer, it would be a different story. This thing had been, you know, 90% maxing out almost half the time if I was streaming and capturing that game. So that's like one of the problems. This now just enabled people to be able to stream a game and play on potato PCs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Die, die seven. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty future proof for a while, uh, too. I have an i7 as well. I have like the i7 6700K, I believe. Spidey? Yep. Uh, I have to go eat dinner. Alrighty. I'll be right back. Give me like 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't know. No. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Deuces. Alright. Um. I need to get a... Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick maybe something else here. Let's do... Alpha? We'll run through these alpha ones. Yeah, let's do it. Clarence blew a tire and kissed the wall on this track last year. Oh no, year. not Clarence. He's looking for payback, so he'll be driving with a And your real name's Clarence. It's gonna make him sharper and more dangerous. And he had real good parents. Clarence blew a tire and kissed the wall on this track last year. He's there we go. Payback, That's what it is. So I take the jacket off. With a vengeance. It's gonna make him sharper and more dangerous than ever. I need to kick him from the crew. Red Bull version. Let's go. But yeah, it's been pretty flawless for me. I don't have data caps like some may have. So I just don't run into the same issues that maybe other people do with it with, with Stadia. So I'm not doubting that there's probably is 
issues with that somebody may have with their own setup, their PC, um, or non-technical people that may have sure their malware or something or antivirus blocking them. That's a potential possibility. I do have a work PC that will not run Stadia because they have such hardcore antivirus software and different stuff on there that it won't let certain things go through and so it messes with the stream and makes it choppy and unplayable because it's constantly checking what you're connecting to and all kinds of stuff so if you have aggressive stuff like that that's interfering with it it's not it's, it's not stadia's fault you know what i mean like that's not stadia or if you're trying to play on something like this completely underpowered or have a bad wi-fi or you know, it's like, what is your router? What is your whatever? You know, I have a deep, decent router. I have a one gig connection, so I just don't have, and I have no data data cap. So for me, I'm just I'm I'm happy as a lark, doing wonderful. With it. So. Oh yeah, and now definitely lots of people don't have to. <laughs> yeah, lots of people don't have data caps right now because of coronavirus. Hopefully they'll continue that. Hopefully people will wise up or whatever and uh, see that it's nothing but a profiteering move by these companies and maybe write your write your congressman, write somebody. Ali B, what is up? How you doing? You know what I mean? Because it is ridiculous the whole data cap thing. I think it's kind of even ridiculous all these companies and you know, even Google has turned around and said, oh, you know, to save the internet from so many people hitting it. You know we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna lower quality on YouTube streams on different stuff and it's just I think that's a load of load up jump. Has, has anyone even with a lowered quality or whatever has anyone really had too much issues right now during the coronavirus with the internet at all? Like I, I don't see it happening. You know Xbox Live isn't like just completely completely crashing there's playstation now or whatever it may be disney plus you can still connect to it netflix everything else it's not like we didn't live in a digital world before the coronavirus or that the internet wouldn't be under strain at, at any given time from a product release or anything else like that that's been happening every every day i just people's habits are the same too you know just because Just because the coronavirus is going on doesn't necessarily mean, I mean, yeah, it's going to rise a little bit, you know, somewhat, but I don't think it's going to rise to the point which crashes the internet. But you bought the crew, crew 2 yesterday? Nice. Did you just start a Stadia uh, subscription then? I mean, did you start a, uh, is it your first time on Stadia? Since then, or how long have you been playing on Stadia? Or are you playing on Stadia? Are you playing, uh, you, you just bought it uh, on Uplay? Or bought it, uh, you know, Xbox or whatever else maybe. I'm assuming, I'm assuming right now. Oh, look. I really enjoyed, have enjoyed the crew. It's been fun. It's been really fun too with friends. And just, you know, being able to chat and play and race and stuff it's been kind of fun this is more of an arcade uh, not so much a sim sim simulation so oh two people in your village have the coronavirus lordy sorry right, hopefully okay though right i mean oh and they're near me dun 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 a break from frustrating FPS games. Oh, you know me so well. Yeah, keep yourself safe, Allie. Keep your distance on that one. Just in case. There's just too many people that just don't know anything, don't know much about it, you know? And when that's the case, I just like to play it safe, you know? When you have all the smartest people in the world not being able to give you straight answers on things, it's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just sit back a little bit. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do my thing and let them believe whatever they want to believe or tell people. I'm gonna just keep it as safe as possible on my end.
Yeah, yeah, definitely gotta think for yourself and stuff. I will tell you what, you know what's surprising to me? So, we didn't want to go to the store and all that, you know, the whole coronavirus type thing. So, we did a Publix order on Shit with Ship, by the way, for those that do that. I, uh, we had ordered it, or ordered some groceries, and it was like a hundred and, hundred and something dollars, hundred and eleven dollars or something like that. The lady gave us a, a, a receipt back with the, the stuff that she bought or whatever, and it was like sixty something dollars. I'm trying to figure out where the other forty something dollars went. And I was, so we started going through the list, and, uh, we started going through the list of what was on the receipt to what was online. And so it was like, oh, uh, here, this bread, it's like, oh, $5 or whatever. And it's like, no, over here online, it's $7 or something. And I was like, you're serious? These people just literally, yes, yes, Shades. They upcharged it. They upcharged it 30 to $40. Had we got a $200 order, I have no clue what it would have been. It would have been like, what, a $400 order? I mean, like, you're gonna upcharge 100 bucks or whatever? It's nuts. Yeah, so yeah, I was like, I told the wife, I said, let's let's not do that again. Let's let's put on a let's put on a mask and uh, go to to the store. Forget it. Let's go get the coronavirus. That's just too costly every week to be grabbing groceries and and it doubling your bill. I was like, no, thank you. You did. You cost. Oh my gosh. We contacted the lady that delivered it. We were like, what the heck's going on here? You gave me a paper bill that's this and that. It was nuts. Yep, so I'll, I'll, well, I won't do that again. I'll make my way to the store. I'll, make, I'll take my happy butt down to the store. Oh, the 4GT touring car is seven credits. I think I may have that. Or do I? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Spotter show. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, Ali. 4.20 a.m. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. You rock. Yeah, it's 10.23 here as well. You are a legend. This is true. Grand Noodle, how are you? All right, I'm back. Welcome back, Jake. How Thank you doing, you, man? Sir. Doing good. Jacob in the house. Grand Noodle in the house. Snow and rain and sun in one day. <laughs> Snow, rain, and sun in one day. I like it. It's uh, it's global awesomeness. <laughs> We're gonna do some, uh, let's get back to the, uh, race, right? Right? Street race? Uh, street race on a hard. So get ready, sir. Alright, there's my mic. There it is. What's up, buddy? Not much. 
Good. I'm gonna need those. Let's do this. I shot you an invite there. Lost like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> hey, do you remember uh, the host command on Twitch? Oh my lord. Is it forward slash host, right? I can't know. I don't remember. Ever ever since I ever since I dipped on that, I have like uh, taken it out of my mind. Don't ever say Twitch in here. Amazon and their twitch, 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 twitch. <laughs> and their hundred and twenty dollar whatever. Hey, I'm kind of glad they're they're getting their cloud service, their cloud gaming service pushed back because of the coronavirus. I mean, I know it sounds sad, but. It just gives a uh, stadium more time to shine. I'm like, yeah, boy. Same with. I wonder uh, what kind of integration they're gonna have with like Twitch and stuff. They are that. Would, so two of their. Oh, uh, they're talking about it. In yeah, the stream right now, they're too. they're already. Uh, two of the games they're coming out with is supposed to have like some tie-in. At least one of them is. So one is an MMO, MM, oh, MM, MMO RPG. And the other one, they're trying to make, you know, kind of like a lot of tie-ins to Twitch. And they said they're really interested in doing it like that, you know, for providing interactivity with viewers and stuff like that. Which, which on my end, I'm like, yeah, well, Google says the same thing. So Google's going to be doing their type of thing too. So they're trying to trying to do it as well. So we'll we'll see. But if any if anybody like in a lot of the articles I read and stuff like that, if anybody is competition to cloud based type thing, car on the road. Uh, as far as time to be the perfect man, Google and, uh, Amazon are probably the one offs of doing something kind of cool like that. I think Microsoft will play it more safe. They're they're always the type that that comes in at the end that says, oh, you got Twitch, you got YouTube. I'm gonna like create Mixer. You know what I mean? Like, and they're like trying some things but then they they kind of are last they're they were last with phones they're last with all different kinds of stuff and so they just watch what other people do and then kind of mimic it or try to do their version of it or make it better but i think google has nothing to lose they don't have that backing in gaming so they can kind of go out on them now and then amazon is just so huge they're they're like three times the size of google and microsoft as far as their cloud platform is immensely huge. So they can really pull something off. But I just don't like that Amazon, just like everything with having to do with Amazon, is just money hungry and. They'll let you get half naked on their service to make a dollar. Everything is like the pros and cons, so nobody's, nobody's a saint in the business, business world. But what's cool too is that, you know, I think you can have all of them. I think you can have an Xbox, a PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, uh, you know what I mean? Stream on Twitch, stream on YouTube, stream on, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter. I think we're past yep. the, I feel like, you know, we're getting kind of past the, oh, you're on uh, Stadia? Oh, I can't play with you. No, Stadia's free. If you want to play the crew too, buy the game and jump in. You know what I mean? Like it's not a... It shouldn't be an issue anymore. Like, I, I hope all the X Clouds and Amazon with their cloud service, which is right now called Project Tempo, um, and with Stadia and all that kind of stuff, and PlayStation Now, or whatever it may be, if there's a game that you want to play that's on one of those platforms, I think you should, shouldn't should look at it like, oh, I can't go sign up for this service because I don't want to play over here. You know what I mean? It's just. Stop thinking about the service, because when I'm sitting here racing in the middle of this game, I'm not thinking about the fact that it's on stadia. It feels like it's the crew too. <laughs> you know, it's not. I don't care where it's coming from. I kind of want to try their MMO. You would. It's gonna be like the other MMO you tried, though. But then, like, I'm kind of scared. Grindy, 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 grindy. Sign up for Twitch. Because get a new jacket. Grindy, I'm kind of scared because, like, I, I like used to be really bad. Like, if there was an MMO I liked, it'd be bad. You'd never see me again. 
<laughs> That's what we said about Destiny 2 until like two, three months into Destiny and they were like, okay, we're done. <laughs> God, it's different, bro. When it comes to MMOs. We grind so, like, like that, man. Like something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, thank you so much, Allie. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the sub. Uh, that's awesome. In between hoping they crash and burn and needing them to survive because I depend on their products too much. <laughs> I'm not happy with Amazon at the moment. You're in between hoping they crash and burn, but you still need them to survive because you need their products. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, they know it too. <laughs> that's the thing. It's kind of like turned into the Walmart, the online Walmart, you know, even though Walmart has their own online, of course. But it's basically turned into the we know you need us so we can be, you know, bum holes about things and we don't have to listen to you. You go walk up to Walmart and you're like, I'm not happy with this or that. And they're like, okay, we don't care. <laughs> you know, you still gotta, you still gotta come here. You gotta get your groceries. Dude, I don't know how we're gonna beat this one. This one, I've now played, what, two, three times? I'm having a hard time beating it. I got you. I'll do it right now. I'm, I'm like if it's watching the car. I'm like watching the stream, the stream and uh playing the game at the same time. <laughs> it's rough. Uh, no, I don't know what I, the Vesco. I don't know what the Vesco. Uh, is that? Three. That's, Vesco. Is it? Two. One. I'm trying to think of what that was. Oh my gosh, I'm lagging. No. Oh, your brothers are downloading Call of Duty again. Rip. Play, they're playing League of Legends. Oh god, no! No! Yep, and rip. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Neil, if you I throw this turn. for me. I can't turn with this. I literally can't. This. My motorcycle just not does not turn. I'm trying to figure it out, but I can't. I need to jack up the turning on it, or get, or change my fixes. That's just, what I was just about to say. Just reset just your fix page. So hard to turn. No, I don't think I even have that new one. I think uh, Jacob. Ah, come on. Uh, what happened? That Vesco, or whatever. The new. That newer, uh. The I think you're using it now, or whatever you were. Oh, I'm using the SDK right now. Oh, man, this is rough, dude. I'll make like flawless turns and they're, they're still pulling away. I know. I don't get it. I'm like, how do you win this one? We beat every other one, you know what I mean? Like, we just take off and wreck them. But this one's Jeez. just difficult. That's a really bad one. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Uh, and I missed the text one. Don't make me cry, Jacob. Yeah, I need. I think I just uh, maybe we restart this one. Neil loves messing everything up, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe I should uh just get ahead and then like <clears throat> nail them all. Maybe I should just get. Is there a dump truck I can rent? <laughs> Oh, you should you should why retry? <laughs> why? I want to change the car. Are you changing your car? Yeah, I need to do something. I can't even turn with this thing. I don't have anything gold on here either right now. Let me see. I'm gonna change my car real quick too. So let me just suit this up real quick. Put everything gold on other things here real quick. Hey, 
any of these car. No, I don't know. What's the other car? What can win? There can be only one. Highlander. <laughs> Parts do I have on here? All right, right now I'm not going to worry about my fixes, but I am going to go over to my profile on the pilot and change my change something up real quick here. Oh yeah, only one K because I wanted a bike. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dance to make you dance. Dance to make you dance. Let's do... Friends. I'm gonna literally reset this page and go bender. Like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dragos, y'all don't like hot cross buns. Y'all obviously weren't in band class. Hot cross buns. Okay, there we go. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at me, bro. Try it again if everybody. <laughs> when I'm ready, <laughs> you're gonna be like, "I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need a a, a different car." And you're gonna see it. You're gonna go, oh my gosh. All right, I got I got my bike lean all the way to the, the most. I mean, uh -huh. I don't, oh, I don't I have, have my fixes vehicle. on, but oh my lord, he's got a jeep. Are you gonna take him out with your jeep, Cherokee? Heck yeah! Did you run him over? Buy dinner for and everything. Okay. I gotta see this. I need to see this. You look like you're trying to deliver a pizza to somebody or something. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, this viper is on your butt. Oh shoot! I messed up there. If I had my fixes on too, that'd be even better. Holy crap! Watch out! I have to go deliver a pizza. <laughs> I don't want that much pretty stuff. But if you fudge up, man. Jose, he's behind. I'm not scared of Jose. I work with Jose. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Stop it. Just like that, I messed up. Oh my goodness. There you go. Jose. And yeah, I missed the checkpoint. Oh, good. I'm scared of Jose. I hate missing the checkpoints. Oh, I missed the checkpoint. Oh, my lord. Gosh. It's all good. I kind of crashed into him and it made him crash. Ooh, get it, Jacob. This Jeep Cherokee's a beast, bro. Telling me. It is a hell. It is. I'm surprised on how well we can take turns. decked out as far as like uh fixes and stuff no nah, it's all 280 gear whatever i have i have bulldoze like basically it's just bulldoze <laughs> i was like i'm gonna have to take out the beast
Golly bump. So difficult. I don't know why. I don't know why. This is just not my map. I did not like that map. It's these turns, man. Let's go. It's weird, like, sometimes you can go, like, outside the checkpoint and it'll still count, sometimes yeah. it won't. That's true. Sometimes you just, bam, hit it, and then it, like, dang near oh. stops you. <laughs> Super slow, is that what the back of your car says? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. It's all kinds of cars for different stuff, man. I just got everything that goes like fast in mostly straight areas. It's kind of like how the RX-7 like does so well in drift. Drifting. It's because it's slow and it's like yet powerful, but it doesn't, you know what I mean? It doesn't go fast forward or whatever, but it's got enough power that it just can stay in a constant drift. It's like insane how it matters. Hey guys, have you heard that yellow loot is a mechanic's dream? Oh <laughs> my lord, have we? Up to this point, we've only gotten green loot. Up until now, yeah. we've only gotten green loot. <laughs> mechanic's dream. Yeah, so so you agree there's probably a bug in this that is like constantly telling you that? I don't oh, yeah. believe it ever happened in the other version, on the Uplay version. You just got spare parts. <laughs> you just got spare parts. He fixed the elevator in the house. Is that, yeah. is that one too? <laughs> Put up more cars. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, so the question is, is that was that that was that mission on hard? You want to try it on ace? Let's do it again. <laughs> yeah. I'm up for it. Oh lord, this is not good. Okay. <laughs> I need to find, I obviously gotta have like a different vehicle or something. There's gotta be some kind of, I don't know. I'm just gonna like try anything at this point. Let's try this Nissan. Driving your Nissan? I'm sure gonna try. Cause I'm Batman. Let's just grab something. I don't care what it is. Cause anything's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Okay, so this is on ace. Super slow. And you you're winning with a Jeep Cherokee. Okay. <laughs> I can use my Uber vehicles. Yeah, my boys in a Jeep I, just, I, don't, I don't like how the uh, F one fifty turns so. Three, two. Yeah, I don't think any of my cars are high enough levels for this, so just hoping I don't come last. <laughs> All good. Oh, well that's, oh, that's my the problem goodness. right there. Look at that. Dude. That's the problem. Now I know I was right to pick you. I don't even have gold on this stuff. This 350Z is like rocking. You just have to get a car that actually like can do handling like Sir 50 is amazing, like 370 or whatever. I ran straight into that car and I didn't know why I didn't reset. <laughs> oh come back here. Yeah, it's definitely all about the vehicle though. I couldn't do it on a motorcycle, I couldn't do it on a supercar, but a 350Z I can like wreck them with, you know? It's just the way the cars are. I missed the checkpoint so hard. Let's go. 
super mal. Oh my I got you, boys. I'm over here crashing to everything. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Oh, there he is. Oh, yellow. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <clears throat> what do you do, bro? All right. Guess who? Right, wait one second. Absolutely not. Yeah. So that three fifty, three seventy Z, three seventy Z does have good turning, at least. We know that now. Did we do them all? Did we do them? No. San Bernardino County. Are you ready to start one, Jake? Or no? Yeah. Get me back out. Get me back out. Okay. Oh, shit. My bad. have a very top, like a high top speed on this car. Go sir. Go sir, I got your back. I'm blocking the road. Oh, <laughs> oh, is it me struggling on that Yeah, track? this is a good. <laughs> well, you're in a Jeep Cherokee, so I mean, you know, I can't really, can't really say much. It's not like you're like in a supercar. Did I save you? <laughs> you almost flew oh, off the mountain. No, you, no, you hit me. <laughs> you, you I, I would have would, been saved fine <laughs> without being hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, you pushed me. You pushed me into the wall, which which saved me from no, going. There was an opening. I mean, at least on my screen, there's a gap that you was about to drive off of. Yeah, no. And I, I moved to the left and signed up on YouTube. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Went to the left and signed up on YouTube? What? 
You lost it. Uh, this is what no sleep does. I mean, oh lord. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean. I tried taking a shortcut. It wasn't the shortcut. Oh, <laughs> it's always, always a bad idea. It was a detour. <laughs> Those shortcuts get you every time. <laughs> it's so enticing. It never works out right. Oh, if I just cut this corner a little bit. Dude, there's someone right behind us. Who is that, Amy? We're gonna have to oh, shake it. Lordy. <laughs> what was that, dude? You, you took my rear end <laughs> and put me pushing. into the tree. Dude, there's a lag. Cause you were like pushing me to the left, and I was like, "What are you doing?" I was in front of you. No, you were right next to me. That was crazy. Yeah. Review the tapes. Insane. Dude, no, on my screen, it literally looked like you was on the right side of me, pushing me to the left, and I was like, "Whoa, whoa." <laughs> That's insane. I didn't mean she needs to the left and I was like, Whoa. One day I'm just gonna I'm just gonna screen record like the whole day. <laughs> so we can review the tape. <laughs> yeah, I can they put me into the tree. Let's see right here. There's a lag. What was that? For a little bit. I wonder if I can get. Let's see. I'll put it on. Put it on stream here and see what happens. Okay. Can you see this? We're gonna verify. Give me the timestamp. Tell me when you pull the stream up. Oh, I mean, I got it on stream right here. Oh. Uh, towards the end here. See, there's someone right behind us. Who is that, Amy? We're gonna have to oh, shake it. Lordy. <laughs> What was that, but dude? <laughs> you'll see, you'll see like how when... you're, how I'm there, and you hit like the back of, like the back right. We hit the back right of my my car. It takes me to the left, because it's pit maneuvering me, right? But then I hit the tree, but then it's like your car just glitches and you're in front and you never hit a tree or anything. It's like what the deuce? It was weird, yeah. Because it's almost like there was a. My car wasn't where your car, where your screen showing it is. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm wondering. If there is some kind of, you know what I mean? Like, I think uh, there's, there's like a, I think there's some type of like delay here. Cause that was weird. Like you were literally next to me, like right next to me and you were pushing me to the left. And I was like, whoa. Oh, oh, love. Got the Give him the chopper. Blah, blah, blah. The, the beast. You should be able to jump in the chopper with your friend. Why can't we? I'm waiting for that. So, More like that battlefield type of scenario. Oh yeah, no, that that is that's not how it went down on my screen. I just looked at it. Cause it looked like you hit my rear. On your screen? And your on your screen. It looked like you hit my rear and then I dropped through a tree. On my screen, it looks like you hit my rear. I'm in your front. I'm in front of you. Wait. I'm in front of you driving, and then you hit the back left side of my fender, which took oh, me yeah, to the that... left and drug me into the tree. And then you like 
skip and it's almost yeah, like, like skip drove, drove like feet right ahead. through a tree right? yeah. and i'm like it wait why didn't he get stopped and so then you were like i wasn't even you weren't even i wasn't even in front of you on your screen so i'm like wait a minute something's yeah you're weird <laughs> Are you accepting this, Jacob? Did you accept it? No. No. I was looking at the the video footage. Three, Son of a pooper. Two. One. Oh, I'll just say it's bored. Board, grab Jacob, start it again. Here it is. Do, 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 do. I wish you could, like, where's the filter? You should be able to, like, filter and say, show me the ones that haven't been completed. You know what I mean? Or that haven't been fully completed. Or... Right. That'd be nice. But too. they have filters for, like, the cars and all that. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't make sense. my car up real quick. There we go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. This one on eights are hard. Mm. Heroes on my spot, uh, on my team. He goes, you're in last place. Somebody's cheating. <laughs> I think it's on eights. Doesn't feel like it right now. I'm about to drive your car next race. Uh, I'm using a uh, Toyota Tacoma. Oh no, I'm gonna use a, uh, a Ford Focus. Oh. Don't do it. Oh man, I'm out here in the center divider. Ford, yeah. <laughs> I had a 65 Mustang, a Ford Focus, and a Ford. I had a couple Fords, actually. I had a lot of different Fords. They all pretty much do. I had issues. I had a Ford uh, Expedition for a short amount of time. Then I sold it for $800. <laughs> I was like, Get off my hands, please. And it was a gas eater, dude. And this was back when uh, gas was like at five dollars a gallon. So bad. I had a four tar. And that's when I discovered Honda. I was like, 30 miles on a gallon? Heck yeah. Dude, my next car is gonna be like a Tesla or something. A what? Like a Tesla or something. That's a, yeah, dude. Very nice. <laughs> I've driven one and I was like, whoa. I mean, I, if the price is coming down and it's all gonna be the same, you know what I mean? Then going back to 
some gas guzzling 20 mile a gallon car is just like not enticing. Looks like you could just use your your electricity from home. You end up buying a docking station and they have charging stations everywhere. At least where I'm at. They're like in every corner. They got some down here too. But you know what? I'm not I'm not I'm never the type that like really cares too much about cars because like You just get from point A to point B. Yeah. And plus you work from home a lot. I, I work from home like ninety percent of the time, so it's like I just don't have a need. That's why I'm like, I, I could go out and grab a $2,000 car and drive the hell out of it until the wheels fall off. Or buy a 30000 up car that I never use. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why would I do that? You know what I mean? It's just, it's not worth That's it. That's just like some insurance stuff right there because you keep the miles low. <laughs> and then I don't like, you know, I like having a good car for the wife and the kid just because of safety, you know? Yeah. type thing but for me I don't care if my tire blows out my engine has trouble whatever else I'll call a tow truck or whatever you know but I don't want it to happen to them you know yeah especially being stopped on the uh, breaking down on a freeway too mm -hmm. that's dangerous but I kind of feel Sometimes like you know what I mean I can handle whatever you know so it's like I just don't have yeah. a need for but this is gonna last you I don't care if I go through 17 different cars Call the fire department, have them use a Jaws of Life demonstration on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are bees, dude. Can you guys come out and pick this one up for free? I'll get this out of my sight. I've had so many different recalls, even like on my Ford Focus out here. So I know. There's a recall on my uh, airbag. They're saying like if you get in a car accident, the airbag deploys. Probably they're just the, gonna shoot metal shards at your face. The company you're that probably starts with like a T, a T or something like that. But I think it's more or less like there's there's like a huge company that supplied the airbags to all these different companies, and they like had a default or something. You know what I mean? Three, it's um. Two, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's not just your car with the airbag issue there. Oh, it's a company, yeah. It's, it's like some Chinese airbag. company. See what yeah, you got some under that Takata or Takata or something, you know what I mean? I yeah, Takata airbags. Yeah. yeah. I have, like, I have a note somewhere in the mail. They call me, like, every day, like, you need to schedule an appointment for your airbag. And I'm like, I'm getting rid of this car. I don't care. <laughs> You're like, no. I want the shards. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to die. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, like, what are you trying to take us away from me? This is, this is America. Whoop, whoop. Don't get you tripping though. I like the airbags in my face, yo. <laughs> the metal shards in my face, yo. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> Grand Noodle, you got anything you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? What's up? How you doing? Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, I can leave the second for once. Nice. So that's cool. <laughs> there you go. I like, it. I like it. If you need me to move out of the way, I'll just move out of the way. You just go ahead and pass. Nah, that's cool. Where are you from? Uh, Iowa. It's in the Midwest. Yep. Oh, nice. Yep. I'm in Tennessee. In California. He's like, I can tell you right now. I'm from California originally. Oh, nice. Uh, what city? Uh, Sacramento. Sacramento? That's ah. where I live right now. Yep, Sac. <laughs> That's crazy. Nice. Oh, I missed the checkpoint, didn't even realize it. Cool, cool. And I'm out in, uh, you know, like Arden? Arden area, remember that area? Mm. Or like the, the biggest mall in Sacramento. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Grand Noodle, by the way. I'm 35. I got a wife and a two and a two and a half year old son. I'm a, I'm a programmer, Microsoft programmer developer. Not for Microsoft, but uh, do .NET development. What? How am I going the wrong way? What? No, I did not miss that checkpoint. Come on. Just, just roll with it. Just roll. Let it happen. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even take a shortcut there. I just like driving along it says wrong way. Ubi does it. <laughs> Ubisoft does their own thing, like you know, like Assassin's Creed trying to get up on a building sometimes. It just doesn't work. <laughs> you just, you just roll with it. Just don't fall out of As you fall off the building, you're just like, I meant to do that. That's how you have to just play it off. <laughs> Oh jeez, I just wrecked the oh, day. So you're like, I love Ubisoft, but it's Ubisoft Montreal. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. You gotta blame like the Canadian or something. It's the Montreal. That it was, it? It's their group. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Dude, I still miss playing Rainbow Six Siege though. I feel like I'm gonna like. I want to like play this out or whatever, but if there's like no like new new good game for Stadia in the next like week or something like that, I may jump on some Rainbow Six Siege for a second. Well, I gotta bring Rainbow Six to Stadia at some point, right? Or, I like, hope so. Play? I'm right. hoping that Uplay Plus integration does it. But yeah, but I would think that they don't have a first-person shooter. You know what I mean? Are you gonna go your True. entire Stadia? You know, is Stadia gonna continue saying? play the games anywhere, everywhere, you know, all that kind of stuff, whatever, and then never have a certain genre, you know what I mean? Like, you, but we're not going to do first-person shooters, you know what I mean? Like, you, so you know they got to come up with something, and they have a real tight integration with Ubisoft, you know? They have Assassin's Creed, Tom Clancy's Breakpoint, The Division, the first cross-play game on here, The Crew 2, you know what I mean? Like, it's like a, half their collection is Ubisoft games. Where's Rainbow Six, you know? So I, I think really maybe you're trying like to just get it right. They what, should have released Rainbow Six first. But I still think they're not trying to hit the, the hardcore gaming crowd. See what I'm saying? Like first, first they're trying to show, they're trying to grab the untapped crowd. They're like people who know gaming probably already know are already playing it or ha are playing it on some other platform. So from what I've read and what I've seen them say has been that there's like say two bit two two billion gamers over here you know type thing or whatever and and all these gamers are already got a console some sort of console some sort of pc some sort of whatever right and then they're like there's like nine billion people that are untapped though that don't do it but yet may play on like a mobile phone or may play on something else and so that's what they're like okay y'all can fight about you know PlayStation and Xbox and the rest of y'all can fight about the people who already are going to either buy another Xbox every year or buy another PlayStation every year, but we're trying to hit the people who are like, wait, you can game on your TV or you can game on your, you know, on whatever hard hardware you have and it's only free or $9, you know what I mean? So they're like, people are playing mobile games and stuff increasingly and they're trying to show how you can play AAA titles on any of those devices like instantaneously yeah. and stuff. So, so they're looking at an untapped market, not somebody who is like, yeah, but I can shoot people faster on my, my PC with my 1080 Ti, you know what I mean? Or my 20, 2080 XP ultimate water-cooled PC, you know what I mean? Like, they're like, okay, well then if you're that type of person, maybe you should stay over on PC, you know what I mean? Maybe you've already got something. There's no reason for you to try to fix that. There's not an issue, you know? But, they're lowering that cost of entry, that barrier of entry for people, and trying to intrigue people who they can put this they can put this this controller and a Chromecast Ultra up at Walmart. You know what I mean? To where as you're walking through Walmart, it's sitting over there next to the other things, next to the Nest Cam and the and the Google Mini, you know, Google Home device, and then also have a gaming platform, and it just makes it to where it's just so accessible. My well, favorite part, that, right? Like, I think you were talking about earlier about like how someone on Reddit said they're developing like touchscreen controls and stuff. So they could just have like an ad in the Play Store or something. Mm -hmm. Like, play this big game. Yep. Just with your phone. Yep. There you go. And I think that's where they're failing right now, or where they have failed in the past, or whatever. And I'm not sure that they really want to push it right now, but. Um, because if they wanted to push it right now, we all know that whenever they unlocked Stadia Pro and then it expired in three months, everybody went to, to, to uh, Stadia Free. So we all knew that Stadia Free was possible. You know what I mean? 
they just waited this long to actually then say, hey, you can sign up for Say Here Free. You know what I mean? Like, they've already had the platform out there to where anybody can play it and use it and do it, but it's just like, why are you waiting? And it's almost like, I don't know, I think they're still trying to just get things right and make sure that they're not running out telling everybody to go jump on something that they're still maybe working through kinks and doing certain stuff. Yeah, and they really just like rolling stuff out. They don't want to do everything at yes. once. And, and that's what kills people is they turn around and say, we haven't heard anything from Stadia in a couple mo- in a month or whatever. What's going on? You know, oh, it's dead or it's blah, blah, blah. That's not the case. They never try to commit to anything. And the reason why they don't try to commit to anything is because us as gamers would hold them to it. Like yep. you said it would come out, blah, blah, blah. You're a liar. You're a You know what I mean? Like it would literally just, they would, we would bash the crap out of it, you know? So they're like, I'm not going to tell you when it comes out. All I'm going to say is, this game's coming. And people are like, why don't you tell me when? Well, because anything can happen between now and when they actually want to pull it out. So they only announce it when it's like, hey, guess what? Load up Stadia today, it's available. And that's when they tell you that it's available. Not, you know, getting you hyped up for something and telling you it's available and then it's not. That's what they don't want to do. So they don't want to, so they under promise and then try to over deliver. And that's their, what they do. which, you know, they're new into the whole gaming atmosphere to begin with, and so will Amazon and the rest of the stuff, too. Wait till they jump in there. You're going to have gamers jumping in there saying, hey, I tried to download your game and couldn't. It didn't run on my device. I'm canceling my Amazon Prime membership. And they're like, wait, what does that have to do with groceries? (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I hate you now as a company, you know? It's because we're ruthless. Gamers are ruthless. Oh, yeah. What's up, Super? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, feel free to add me, The Spotter Show. But yeah, so those are, the, those are the things that I think Google even had to jump in and try to learn at the beginning was, what's going on here? Wait, you guys expect this type of stuff? And we're like, yeah, you said it was available today. Where, why, where is it, you know? There's too many, uh, they're, not, they're not used to that. There's no other service that they have where it, they need that immediate, you know? It's like, hey, contact our customer service. Gamers are like, yeah, I'll be contacting your customer service all day today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, I'll keep you on the line until you get this thing working on my hardware where I'm trying to play it on an Amazon tablet. Why isn't it playing? You know, I mean, it's just like nut stuff. They've never probably experienced that. We got huge expectations. Whenever Stadia came out, everybody was like, you saw me, like, gamers were were saying, hey, uh, like, how come everything isn't free? If you had given me an entire library of all kinds of games for free, you know, and it was like the Netflix of games, and for $9, I got hundreds of games, then I would have bought it. It's like, wait, where's the five exclusives? Yeah. Game. When do you go. ever get that? You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? You want a free 4K gaming, 60 frames per second, uh, 120 games available to you for nine dollars a month? It's like, yeah, you're dreaming. And how do they make money again? <laughs> you know what I mean, like, what, what company does this? Amazon, if you're not just gonna ship me everything for free, I'm out. Come on, Got they're you, a big super. company. They can afford it, right? It's true. <laughs> That's what I was saying too about Jeff, uh, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Bezos too. <laughs> Jeff Bezos or whatever. He, I was like, where is he at during this whole coronavirus epidemic? All the money in the world over here. You're like the richest man in the world. Like, what? Do you, yet you have like people like walking out of Amazon and trying to do certain stuff, saying that you're not giving them the right equipment. And they're the ones filling everybody's orders and stuff. And you're over here like, quiet, <laughs> you know? You could solve world hunger, <laughs> you know, with that money. Is has, has anyone who has Amazon Prime or has a Twitch subscription or anything, just let me know. Have they given you the Twitch subscription for free? Or have they given you Amazon Prime at a discount right now? I don't know because I don't have it. But I'm as far sure. as I, I know, <laughs> if they haven't, that's a problem because they I can order something from Amazon right now and they can't offer me uh, my grocery delivery fast enough because all their time slots and everything are all booked up. 
And so, and I, and they don't deliver anything. They put, they, they lock themselves down to essentials so they can't deliver me half the things I want to deliver. And it comes in like two weeks. And yet you pay for what, two day or same day or two day or whatever. And that went right out the window, but yet you're still paying the same price. Somebody should be like up in orange yelling about this. They should be getting discounted on that Amazon membership for sure. I mean, there's a lot of car insurance companies and stuff that are turning around delivering car insurance cheaper because they're like, nobody's driving. You just mandated nobody to drive, <laughs> nobody to go out unless it was necessary. There's no cars in the road, yet you're paying in case you wreck. I <laughs> mean, like, what the? Man, this Rodney AI is so dumb. <laughs> he tried to, like, pass me and ran straight to a house. That Rodney, you drive it dirty. That, that was me. <laughs> my, my name's Rodney in Game Motion. <laughs> And then, uh, what? Amy's the worst. I hate Amy. What about Carrie? <laughs> I hate them all, you know? I'm just gonna get to the point where it's just like, these, the, the AIs are just rotten, man. Remember, we had we had issues with Carrie before. Oh, yeah, Carrie. Where's good old Gordon, uh, Gordon Wayne? plays dirty in, in uh, the rumble mode. Mm. See, it was the worst. Oh, eat it, Rodney. Oh. This is how we do it. I don't like this cutscene. They really could have done without that cutscene, too. I don't see why that was like a point. So, I, think like, it, I don't know why they made that. I think it just rolled over from PC or er, from, you know, other things. Cause it was a, it was just a staging thing of being able to load something, but now since it's on Stadia, it's just like, oh, here's the scenery. Okay, we're done. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's like and the whole like how they fold the entire world in the intro and then never do it again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my lord. The big cow. <laughs> to the big cow. Okay. All right, we're gonna play another. We're gonna play another street race in about two seconds. Let me grab a. Let me grab a drink real quick. I'm gonna be right back. Same. Uh, yep. Give me five seconds here. My buddy is streaming right now, and he's playing with all of our friends. Oh, and man. this has to be the funniest thing. Oh. So first of all, I'm sorry it took me so long, because this just reminded me of why I should have never bought a mansion. 
<laughs> it took me forever to get from point A to point B over there to grab a drink. The refrigerator is at least a half a mile away. <laughs> Your fridge is so close. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks for running. Thanks for running it, Jacob. <laughs> I can a boy can dream, right? <laughs> but next you're like... gonna tell me I'm not a boy. I'm 35. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a. Don't uh, you do it. <laughs> I'm gonna send you my my mini fridge so you can keep it right underneath your desk. It's kind of gross, man. You know, like when you look in the drink that you've been drinking in, you're like got like stuff on the side of it. And you haven't I mean, washed the cup. Yeah, on the inside where it looks like it's dirty, <laughs> and I'm like, what's that sand doing on the inside? <laughs> I've been drinking this all night. Okay. And, like, the glass starts to stain. Stop it. Oh, wait, you're drinking with Zevia, huh? Yeah, I'm on Zevia. I'm on Coca-Cola right now. Coca-Cola Zero. Just because it's cheaper. I was spending a lot on Zevia because I was going through it. <laughs> yeah. I'd go through, like, a whole six-pack that like... you would buy from the store I mean, every day. It. Sometimes but it's more. But it's got, you know, it's got the no calories, though. Yeah, but and it's it's, uh, Coke Zero also has no calories. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to just go with that for now. And then, but then the Ace K gives you cancer and you die at I 50. So. Oh, well. It's okay. We're all going to die anyways. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to live a lot longer. But, but, like, <laughs> but like, don't worry about it. You, you win in the but end. Like, but like spending $6, though, it's expensive for me, bro. And like not getting too much out of it. Uh... You know, you just use less of it, sir. Mm, oh my true. god! True, true. Yeah, why are you using so much? <laughs> you dabble so in that stuff, bro. bro. You use it as a luxury <laughs> item. You're trying to use it like it's like you can just toss that stuff around. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Luxury item. I mean, like it's like saying crab legs are expensive. Handle, yep. I should be able to like drink a little bit if it was crown, but. I just been drinking the cheap stuff. I do miss Zevia though. There's something different about it. What was that? Zevia misses you. Just told me to tell you that. <laughs> it just told me to tell you that. Ah, <laughs> 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 you gonna make me act I'm up? Maybe <laughs> yeah, do something I'm gonna regret. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, the wife, like, we're eventually, hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm going to be heading out to California at some point, but. Oh, yeah, when? Let me know. Yeah, I'll just let you know. Keep me, yeah, keep me updated, like, for yeah, sure, course. and then I'll, I'll take, like, a whole week off for you guys, however long you're going to stay. Yeah, because it or actually anything, is going to be probably, uh, like, three weeks. Uh... Oh, nice. What part of California, though? Don't know yet. I, I don't know. Because it's. it's it's a big, it's a, it's a big state. Yeah, but I'll let you know whenever I find out or whatever like that. Yeah, and depending on like the situation where I'm at, um, if I'm in the house or what, like if you guys need a place to stay, you already know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely, and then, you know, hey, if it's overbooked or whatever at that time, we're, 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 we're gonna, we're, you know, we'll, we'll have a, we'll get a spot or whatever like that, but. Yeah. Gotcha. I, like on your guys' free time, man, I'll show you guys around. But yeah, I know at least for me or whatever like that, I want to, uh, you know, hang out with my boy too, so I'll, uh, I'll hook up with you. Little Wesley will be able to throw football with you by then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no. Dude, dude, he's getting out. Bro. I can't wait to see Lil Westy again. He's bro. not. Oh my gosh, he's funny as crap, dude. He's a heck of funny. But he's getting wild. He's getting like, like I'm talking like, he's got no fear. Yeah, I remember I was uh, I was packing up, right? And I think I had heard you guys say, uh, I think I had heard you guys, or I think Mount said it. it was just like, don't go in Dad's office or whatever. <laughs> to Westy, he doesn't care. And he like walked right in, and I was like, "Oh, hello, buddy. Um, I don't think you're supposed to be in here. No. Let's go this way." <laughs> and I would run to the. Uh, it's still that way. The, uh... <laughs> like I told her, like we don't we don't spank him or anything, but I'm like, 
Okay, this kid's making me think about making it. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I tell her all the time. I'm like, maybe, maybe it would be different if we just like. But the thing with spanking, like for us, is we're like, if somebody doesn't know what they're doing is wrong or whatever like that, then hitting them for something is just like some reaction. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't like they don't know why they're getting hit. You know what I mean? Like so you just yeah. so we don't spank, but that's just us personally. But um, but it just it's a little like a running joke, you know? Because we're like, why isn't he listening? I said no. I said no, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna spank. <laughs> <laughs> like, it all just... depends on like the level of it too because sometimes like like our dad our dad used to put the fear <laughs> like, i know it's, but that's the other thing so, like, like like though how do we feel towards our dads you know what i mean like type thing yeah. too like do you feel but it also like it, it messes with your head a little bit because you're like what happens you're scared to do something wrong Yes, I don't want it to be a fear is why you don't do something. I want it to be reason and logic and your choice of why you don't do something. You know what I mean? Like there's like a whole underlying meaning to thought, you know what I mean? Like that I'm trying to grow, yeah. not just the fact that why don't you touch that thing? Because I'll kill you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, like okay. growing, growing up, growing up, I was always scared to do something wrong. Like say like, mm-hmm. oh, teacher, the teacher would be like, oh, you're not supposed to do that. I'd be yeah. like, I'm sorry. <laughs> agree, you know, like, agree. Right. It's like, the same. So scared. <laughs> same for me that's why i've never gotten really in big trouble with the law or anything else like that and i'm always like uh you know totally confused how anybody gets in trouble with the law because as soon as they pull up i'm like i'm sorry <laughs> i'm more I, I was like i was probably more scared of my dad and then the police <laughs> he's like do you know how fast you're going i'm like yep <laughs> he's like oh this is easy <laughs> like not even gonna lie not even get oh, yeah, when I got my first my first speeding ticket. He goes, you know how fast you're going? I was like 55. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know this is a 35 zone. And I was like, yup. Yup. <laughs> and sign it off. Thank you for what you're doing, officer. You have a good day. <laughs> That's right. He's like, I like That's that. That's exactly guy. what I said. I was like, have a good day. Have a great night. <laughs> I, know. I know. I'm that way, and I'm like, wait, how does anybody buck the system? But some people grow up differently. You know what I mean? They're like, I don't have to listen to you, or I don't have to follow. Like, you know, I've just always been. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't like getting in trouble. I don't like confrontation. I don't like returning something to Walmart. You know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. having to walk up and then they're like, have you used this? And I'm like, and you're like uh, I opened it and put it on the bed. And then I was like, I don't <laughs> yeah. like it. And then, I mean, I guess I, I'm like, and they're like, okay, we don't need to know all that. And my wife's always like, shut up. Like nobody cares about all that kind of stuff. Like, and I'm like, well, way yes. too much. <laughs> I'm getting in trouble or something. She's like, what are they going to do? They work at Walmart at, at, at the customer service desk. Like they're not gonna like put you in jail. You know what I mean? Like it's just weird though. So yeah. So I don't want them to live. You know what I mean? To grow up like in a fearful. It's kind of like when you're we gonna mess to go to up. Bu- when we went to a bus and they was like, yeah, you're under ten, but we were like twelve, whatever at the time. And I was yeah. like, they asked, how old are you? And I'm like. Well, well dude, I know. I, I, too. I got hit real quick. <laughs> I, I know. So See, my wife can do that type of stuff too. She's like, no, like she'll think that way, like to where it's like, no, it doesn't matter because they don't care, you know, or whatever else like that type of thing. And I'm more like, but it's that's not, but it's not true, or <laughs> it's not like I'm like I would tattle on myself, you know. <laughs> it's horrible. I have this innate ability to not want to be wrong or be like it's crazy uh, jeez I'm hitting everything today Sorry, boy. you guys are rocking it out man first and second oh, oh Grant, 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 Grant. I, I, keep, I keep I keep doing a wheelie every time I hit one of these stupid balls everyone else is exhausted Motorcycles used to be so good. I don't know what's going on lately, but I'm starting to not like the motorcycle, and I almost like a mid-range type of like a 370Z or whatever else like that instead of the fast Anything car up, that can't yeah, turn. That's why I never go through that. I never. I think I said that before. Like I never go for like the luxury cars in this game. 
it's super fast, but I'd rather deal with like the SDK for a fact or for uh, an example. Yeah, it does. But I had to I had to tune it though. The turning was really temperamental. It doesn't help going 300 miles an hour if you're gonna hit every wall on the way there and then end up at 180. You know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't keep traction. Yeah. Traction is key. So there's just in this game and in real life. <laughs> or going really fast straight but not being able to turn left or right. That that only works for so long until you have a map that goes left and right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Fine, I was talking. I was talking too much. You boys were like, stop talking. Let me teach you how to Dougie spider. <laughs> now hit the cat daddy. <laughs> hit the cat daddy. And then the stinky leg. The stinky leg. What? Then hit the crank what? dat. <laughs> oh, I mean you. <laughs> then a new dance called the two seat slide. This here for part two. Take I'm gonna teach now, you how to Cupid Shuffle. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> you know who Two Chains is? The rapper. I mean, yeah, I know who he is. Two Chains. I don't really. The one know. time uh, when I was bartending, um, somebody was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna give you uh, two cards. Just split it in half on the the two cards." And they kept saying two cards. So then I go, I take the card, I go two cards. <laughs> that was a fool. No. Say it ain't so. Yeah, they laughed. They were like, yeah, this bartender's just stupid. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Jacob, Say Jacob, Jacob so. DeFool? No. Nah. Jacob DeFool? Buffoonery. <laughs> One tarnation. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to try to keep trying this uh, 350Z here. It worked for me. I'm so used to saying like 350 instead of 370 because you never do, you never really see 370s too often. It's just mainly yeah, 350s. Yeah, no, same. And... It's really weird seeing it. All right. <clears throat> okay. Hold on a second. Clearing stock. That's the worst thing too. Oh yeah, but I like it because you just see your gear parts go up and then when you're ready to like affix some stuff, then it's just gone like that. <laughs> Ooh, I'm awake now, dude. <laughs> you drink? I'm not gonna be able drink to drink coffee? Tonight. No, I drank three whiskeys and cokes right, and ate some up. dinner. Another street race. We are set. I'm ready to work a 12 hour shift. Said no one ever. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> Dang it. Get off this Ducati, bro. Let's try that. Bam. All right. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that is not a volcano. Glacier. I've been closing my city. Go Wayne. Wayne, no. Wayne. I missed my friend Wayne. He was the mechanic at the uh, at a bowling alley I used to work at hmm. in Stockton. We used to like bowl all the tournaments. Woo! 
clear Sorry. pavement all the Yo, way dude. to the finish line. I know. It, it happens when you're trying to get past people, somebody. It's just like nothing to do. Sorry, sorry. I'm probably I'm like, right there. I'm like, I'm, I'm under, I'm, I was like under steering there. Well, that's the race for me. Get the finish guy. Mom? Sometimes there's only so much you can do. Like, you got like this small teeny road and it's like uh, if you're yeah, faster, there's the snow cover can't even see yeah and then they make it to where like the people behind you have like more of that shifty you know experience where i need oh by the way i need to change my icon i don't have any of my icon stuff on but then they make it to where people behind you can catch up and then you can't like really whine about oh, it you get plumped in the back because that's the way the game kind of does it like, oh, I'm getting bumped in the back. It's like, yeah, because they made it to where people can catch up. Oh, I missed a checkpoint again. What in the world? This is a perfect example to where if you drink too much sweet tea. Sweet tea. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> what y'all doing? <laughs> what y'all doing? It's what, still March? What day is it? It's still March? <laughs> How long March is March? Is, How long is March? <laughs> I'm gonna do yoga. Oh my, oh my gosh, this floor is so dirty. I swear, if I see him in the street, dude, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna be so happy. I, I can die happy. I'd have a heart attack. That old man is so funny, dude. I just can't. Like when you sent me that, you sent me the where the where the chick had seen him driving. Say it. Say it. And he was like, "Well, shit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that made me laugh because she was just like, "Say howdy" or something like that. And the first thing he said is, "Well, shit." <laughs> I was just like, oh, "Okay, this guy's funny as crap." Yes, he really is. I hope I hope when I'm an old, well, older dude. I hope I'm, I'm funny, you know what I mean? Like, cause I don't want to be like an old, an old bitty or whatever. You know what I mean? Like I want to have like a good sense of humor. Yeah. I want to be like one of those, you know, like the old dudes that are like always playing pranks and jokes and funny, you know what I mean? Like still have a, like, That'd be a young heart. Can never take anything serious. Yeah. And it's like, oh, he's just playing a joke or oh my God, grandpa's just messing or whatever, you know? Because why be the dude that's just so, you know, stoic over in the corner? For who? You know what I mean? You're like my dad. <laughs> you're like, you're like dying, bro. You know what I mean? Like, enjoy life. Why? Why take it so... Why so serious? Heath Ledger, God bless you. He was the best joker. Got to <laughs> Your version, of, your version of Batman. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Stop it. You're so fast, with your, you, <laughs> you, you can't do it, Jake. You can't do it, Jake. With your knees on. I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm DK now. <laughs> I'm the DK oh. now. Uh, Donkey Kong? Drift King. Drift King. <laughs> Listen here, Joker. Where are they? Tell me, Potter. Where are they? Oh, I almost fell. Um, do you have to yell? What's all the yelling for? Where are they, Joker? <laughs> Tell me where they are. They? I need to find them. I'm talking to my friend's mom. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Mom! I'm talking to my friends! <laughs> Dude, I always see his videos in the morning and it's like, it's so funny. Hey, what's hilarious is my dad sent me a video of his and said, I know you like him. I'm like, how do you know I like him? He must have saw on Twitter or something like that that I had tweeted him or whatever and said something about Leslie Johnson or whatever his name is. I was like, what the heck? Leslie Jordan? Yeah, yeah Leslie Jordan. I'm telling you, man. Next time I come down there to Tennessee, dude, we're gonna go see him. We're gonna go like stalk him. 
No, we're just, we're gonna. I'm hit him up on Instagram. And be like, hey, was wondering if you're doing like a meet and greet or something. Me and my yeah, friend. We would love we're to like really take a big picture. Fan. We'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pay you. You wanna make you wanna make an extra 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 hundy? I got you. Come on. Hundred dollars today. You gonna make this? Like, I'm there. I'm there. Ryan, let just I'm Ryan walking Leslie. at your door. Leslie Jordan. Ryan Leslie's a uh, he's an artist, a music artist. That graduated from my high school. Oh lord, I am going wild and crazy. This is Spider Gone Wild, everybody. Go ahead and check it out. I got DVD gone wild. coming. I ain't playing. We we normally show it on uh, at like 3 a.m. Grand Noodle. Have you seen uh, Tiger King? Nope. Nope. And I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> that, uh, that's Artie. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch it and I'm like why Artie he's like cuz 34 million other people in in 10 days watched it oh <laughs> okay that's such my that's such a my brother thing my brother does the same stuff my brother's always like what do you think about uh stadium I'm like oh it's amazing it's like the best thing I've ever played on and stuff like that yeah I'm never gonna play it now you got room to <laughs> like, uh, like my okay brother, I have to like force him to like play it and it like, oh my lord. depending on how he feels about it. Yeah, my brother was always the type that was like, uh, oh my lord, I can't do it. I just like ran off the cliff. I did too, I did too. Come here, AA Ron. My brother's the type was always like, hey, let's play this uh, this baseball game or something like that, you know? Or, or this football game, and it's like, who are you gonna pick? And he's like, I got the Patriots, and like you like look like the front of the game or whatever, and it's like it's got the guy off the Patriots, and I'm like, you pick the one that's like got the best rating in the game, and then you want me, you want me. To... At least he didn't pick the Niners. Yeah, it's oh like it's like you can pick anybody <laughs> you want or whatever like that, and I'm like, you've already been through the list and you've seen that this team has like a 98 ratio or whatever, and you, you know you got like a 96, 94, 93, 92, and it just goes down from there. And I'm like, so basically you just picked out the best team and said it's your favorite team ever. Like, and then left me with the crap. <laughs> okay. It was always like that growing up. I remember playing him and he used to say, uh, playing him in basketball. He was a sports guy. I wasn't the sports guy. He broke like our high school triple jump record and did all kinds of stuff like that. And he had like the coach wrapped around his finger and track and different stuff too. That was like, he, he was like the only freshman on the varsity basketball team, all that kind of stuff. And you know, oh, he too. was raw, man. Oh, you know, I wasn't. He was a, he was, he was at that time, I think six, six foot, six two, or whatever like that. And had like a 40 inch vertical or whatever, like Allen Iverson. Yeah, he did high Boy, jump and all that, that kind of stuff too. Gene. Not me, not me. I had like a thirty-inch vertical. <laughs> I had like a. Uh, I'm gonna pass the physical examination at the doctor's office vertical. <laughs> you know, like, I was just not. I've just never been blessed like that. You know what I mean? I was not the varsity on the on the on the basketball team. I was the freshman. On the freshman team, <laughs> I mean, like it was just never in the cards for me to be anything better than normal, I guess. But yeah. So, anyways, he would play like basketball. We play basketball outside, and uh, he would say, "Oh, best two out of three. He was this type where the where the rules change. Best two out of three. Oh, okay, you do I best two that. out of three. Okay, I beat him for some reason. Okay, best three out of five. And then I go, and then I go, no, nah, man, I think I'm gonna go in. Okay, well, if you go in though." You don't get the the world. You don't get the champion belt. It's like wrestling, because basically I've challenged you and now you forfeited. And I'd be like, okay, well then I'll play you, right? Because you know I don't want to lose the belt. I'm the winner right now, you know. And if I forfeit, then you're the winner. So then I go ahead and play him, and then he wins. And then I say, okay, play me again. He says, no, I'm good. And I say, well, I challenged you, and you know. You're gonna give up your belt and this and that and stuff like that. And he was like, "Nah, I still got the belt." <laughs> it's kind of like when and I'm uh, like, "You son of a gun!" <laughs> when I, I used to work, I used to work at a vape shop. Probably like one of the most fun jobs I've had. We used to we used to gamble and play cards. And there's a game called Thirteen, 
And um, so we would play for money. We would put in however much. We would start off with dollars. Then yeah. later on, we would bump it up to five, then 10, then 20, then 50, then 100. <laughs> and that was, my RNG was amazing. And I, oh no, why did I accept that? It's all good. Why not? Uh, right. No, I, I had accepted it already, but there's loot, uh, oh. a live reward. But anyways, yeah, like, so I'd, I'd wax everybody with their money. And I'd be like, all right, I got to go now. They're like, no, no, one more, one more. And I'm like, all right, one more. And that's when I start losing, right? Yep. And after I lose like twice, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get up and leave. <laughs> Two, one. But yeah, dude, those are like some fun times. One good thing about having a brother was back in college when we played poker and, do, and stuff. It's just one good thing. I mean, I'm not trying to hate on my brother. No teamwork was the playing poker and stuff like that and you, you know you go to like a party or something like that where people are trying to have a poker thing you got two brothers there that's just the bad news yeah <laughs> because Bro, i uh... know my brother and i know whenever he looks over at me and gives me that eye i best not go in right now he's got something i'm gonna lose my butt you know what i mean like like <laughs> so all he would have to do is veer over at me and i was like fold <laughs> yeah, and I'd look over at him, and he'd be like, "Fold." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everybody else is throwing in money and stuff, whatever. It was like we could play the table, and then it's yeah, you definitely don't want two tip brothers at the table. It's just not fair for the other people. To all the people I have shamed, <laughs> to all the people I have screwed over in my life that's listening to this, I'm sorry. But me and my brother had a connection going on there with that poker table. <laughs> yeah, anything that has to do with like team stuff in yeah. real life, that's like me and my brother is there. It's so funny. They used to split us up. <laughs> they used to be like the road and house can't be together. <laughs> Dude, I know. Oh, by the way, Grand, uh, Jacob is like a uh, part of triplets. Ah, okay. So he knows all about the brother one. He's never experienced one is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. He's always had two or three. <laughs> and plus an older brother. <laughs> and an older brother. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird though. It was mainly like it would be me and my older brother and then I called Tim and Alex the twins. So it's so is Timmy and Alex the twins? We call them the twins, yeah. They look more alike. I look a lot like my dad. They look like my mom. Okay, but... So what? Uh, didn't read that all the way. They crash. Oh. Oh, uh, but so you're saying though... I'm trying to remember, um, so your older brother. Yeah. He's, he's with Z, right? Yeah, with Z. Okay. Yeah, like, you, you seen her, like, tweet towards me and all that and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. She's hella funny, dude. Like, she, she lived with us probably for yeah, about two, three like, months. Yeah, she seems like, kind of like a sister or something, you know what I mean? You, yeah. Like, you're always, she's, like, she's... tight with Z or something. Yeah, and like I always, uh, oh, uh, I always, uh, <laughs> ah, <laughs> I was to, I was ah. to... <laughs> no, like, uh, when, when we lived together, like, it would be me and Z, um, it would be mainly me and Z that would keep the place clean and all that. And so that's where we, like, bonded, because, like, we, we were just like, man, these guys are dirty, <laughs> you know? And then, like, we'd always go, like, grocery shopping and be me, D, Ryan, or, uh, or even, like, dinner and all that. We'll, we'll, it'll be us cooking. By the way, to change the subject real quick, uh, the big part that they're missing out on right now is cross-play with this game. Yeah. They should, so, you play plus... X amount of dollars a month for you play plus and having access to all those wonderful games like Rainbow Six Siege, Assassin's Creed, Crew 2, all the rest of them, whatever like that. They should literally allow crossplay. Division, Breakpoint, Ghost Recon. 
why is crossplay not allowed here, but yet it's allowed on Division 2 right now? I just don't get it. It must be up to the team or something. Like each developer. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I kind of want to know, like, and it's kind of okay if it's a, okay, is there a technical reason or whatever, but it's almost like I want to know why, you know? Yeah. And, like, just come out and say it, you know? Oh, it's a technical reason. Oh, because I got Louie. Hold on. They obviously haven't, they, 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 we obviously know that with the Division 2 that it's possible to do crossplay because you did it. But even this, so I don't know if you know the crew. The crew too. People asked about it being 4K. I don't, uh, and uh, they said that 4K is coming for the crew too. Mm -hmm. So that shows you that at least they're still actively developing, as far as outside of just you know pushing new cars and new events or whatever else like that. That there are they are developing the you you know that the visuals on it and stuff. So they continue to actively do that for it. At least, so this is good. Because who the heck wants to keep playing a game that may be dead or whatever else? But they're at least planning on upgrading visuals. I'm gonna make another drink real quick. Mom, don't do it. I have two sides. <laughs> Just two stacks. Back. Dang, dude, my, my uncle's in the ER. Coronavirus? I think so. What? For real? Yeah, my mom just texted me. Uh, hashtag, don't go see him. I didn't know my uncle was too. Oh, Vinlayer. You know, I sent you that, that message too about the Vinlayer thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, it makes me nervous. So, nobody knows anything. 
they literally improve it every day. Like, what we're gonna do is uh, do this and that and this. I'm like the same thing that the doctor did whenever I walked in and told him my, my chest was hurting or my side was hurting. He was like, you know, I don't know. Let's try this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait, you're gonna guess? Gotcha. I'm like trial and error type yeah. thing. But uh, the world, all over the world, we can't come to a consensus of what actually works, what doesn't work, what, you know what I mean? The best thing you can come up with out of everybody in the entire world and the best scientists is maybe social distancing works? Let's just stay inside. <laughs> that makes me nervous. I think I think what it was, too, like I'm kind of putting two and two together here, because uh, his girlfriend is like, she runs a dispensary in California. And dispensaries are essential, so they're always coming in contact with people. Yeah, like every probably day. Is. So I think she brought it to him, and I wonder if she's sick or if she just ate some the medic. I don't know. They're still trying to figure out why some people it doesn't affect quite as much. Yeah, some people don't even have. Some yeah, some people are asymptomatic, some people have mild to no symptoms, and other people get put in respiratory arrest. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, what the hell? Like, they don't know why. They just came up with a new article saying about how ventilators could be, right? Some doctors are questioning the ventilator use because they're like, some people in New York, that, that, that usually on ventilators or whatever, there's like a 50% chance that you die when you're on a ventilator or whatever type thing. It's like 50% or like it's, like, it's like some type of chance that if you get put on a ventilator, there's X amount of chance that you come off of it and 50% of chance, you know, you, you don't come off of it type thing. And it's like, supposedly in New York, there's like 80% of people on a ventilator are like dying. So they're like, is something wrong with the ventilators? You know what I mean? Or, or maybe it's a wrong method of doing something with this. Because it's like, it has, a higher, it has a higher rate of normal, of, of, of without this coronavirus. Like, normally it, that doesn't happen. You don't, more, most people don't die like that on the ventilator. So they're like, what's going on with the ventilator? Go ahead, sorry. Did you see what I said about it too? Uh, like yeah. Respiratory yeah. illness. Yeah. You're like, respiratory illness? <laughs> Ventilate, can't breathe, ventilator and die it's like i don't understand like i i can't i have to question everything now you know what i mean it's like i don't even know what's the answer anymore you have a respiratory illness okay, sir. you can't right. breathe here's yeah. a ventilator wait that ventilator kills you <laughs> it's like okay i'm out <laughs> this is too messed up are you serious that was the last turn too wow <laughs> i was in second up to the last corner wow. and the checkpoint missed Welcome to life, sir. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. <sighs> it reminds me. Who was it? Uh, Charlie Munger. Um, his quote to uh, about Elon Musk. They said, well, we, would you invest in uh, Tesla? And he was like, I'd ne I would never invest in Tesla. And it's like, well, look how well he's done. And it's like, well, in life, you know, sometimes you win some and sometimes you lose some, whatever like that. And it's like, but you have to be really ballsy sometimes to, to get the winners or whatever, but it still makes it a risky, a risky thing. It doesn't always, you don't always, uh, you're not always consistent with your winnings. Yeah, you don't hear much about the ballsy guys who lost. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. And 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 actually, most of the people that you see, like uh, that are financial gurus or whatever else like that, have gone bankrupt and have gotten all the money back based off of like a bet. You see what I'm saying? They literally have bet it all, have put in 26 million and lost it all, then have gained 26 million somehow, then have put a 26 million back in, and then now they're $3.6 billion <laughs> because they, they they bet on the right thing. And it's like, and then now they're trying to tell people how they need to invest their money. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, well you can do that now. But, lucky as hell, bro. There's some of them that have high rates of, of uh, success. 
but most uh, most 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 people who ha you know have a have a average success actually do well and then turn around and uh, they then start playing it safer. So you'll see every analyst, every whatever, who turns around and is not turning around betting their bank on anything after they've made their money. So they make a whole bunch of money, and then they're turning around going, now I'd be careful about this one, and I'd blah, 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 and I did, you know, I'm not investing everything in this, and all that. so now you're playing it safe. It's like, okay. That's not how you played your first bet, though, that made you the money. Because nobody playing it safe makes a lot of money, unless you're Warren Buffett. He plays it safe because Water. he's not looking at it as what I can make in the next week or year or month. You know what I mean? He's looking at it like, what can I make in the next 50 years? And so that's a whole different perspective. Warren Buffett barely sells any stocks. He literally buys the stocks and then just sits on them for 50 years. So yeah, everybody makes money that way because the stock market in general kind of goes up. You know what I mean? Like it just always has gone up because it's betting on our economy and the market going up in general. If you think it's going to go down, well, you might want to like move somewhere else because this is about to be a crap storm. Hmm. If everything's going to tank, yeah, it. you it probably don't want to be here. Before we start. So yeah, he's just a long-term investor. And in that scenario, Warren Buffett most of the time is right and he picks the safer stocks and the slower stocks and he's old as heck and he's made most of his billions in the last like 15 20 years of his life that's that's 90 percent of his income has come in the last 15 20 years of his life which he hasn't even got to spend it and he doesn't spend it he literally has said in multiple different episodes on things i've watched him in and stuff like that that his wife puts change in his in his uh cup holder in his car and if she puts two dollars and like 13 cents in, he can get an egg mix sandwich with a Coca-Cola. And then if he puts, she puts two dollars and 80 cents in, he gets get one with bacon. I mean, it's like you're like 80 years old, bro, and you're still like he's still driving like a normal car. He's always like a Cadillac or something like that or whatever. It's just like a normal car. He's not like driving a Ferrari to work. Still shows up at work. Doesn't have to. It's just, it's insane. Like, when you have X amount of dollars, it's like sometimes it just doesn't matter about all the rest of the stuff. It's still like semantics of. Just being humble. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I, I greatly respect him, but in a younger age than he is, like I am, or that you guys are, or whatever, like that, I don't recommend trying to set yourself up for when you're 80. Because that's what he's done. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's rich as hell. He's a billionaire. You know what I mean? Like, but he's also got ten percent of his wealth when he's eighty. And if you want, if you want, I mean, eighty percent of his wealth, ninety percent of his wealth when he's like seventy, eighty. You know? And if that's what you want, then yeah, follow what he says. Stick into something and stay with it long term. And when you're eighty-two and can barely walk and need need knee replacement surgery, you too can be a billionaire. <laughs> you can't go ride, you know. You can't go ride roller coasters at Six Flags, but, you know, hey, you got billions of dollars to be able to buy more McDonald's, you know? Drink more Coca-Cola like he does. He drinks a Coke like every day, like a couple of Cokes every day, I think, or something. Or he at least has a Coke a day. That's what made him rich was, was Coca-Cola. I had a coworker that drunk um, uh, three or four, sometimes even five, um, 32-ounce cups of, like, Coca-Cola every single day outward and i'm like oh my goodness you should check your health bro like see if you have diabetes or something <laughs> but a lot of times it's like an adverse thing just like you said with a diet coke or whatever like that you can either cut out the 100 to 200 calories or whatever and then eat the 100 and 200 to 200 calories elsewhere Three. you know or you can actually have it in sugar and then actually feel full so there's still like up for debate on whether like diet sodas actually ever do anything most of the studies that I've seen or whatever is that diet study, you know, diet Coke doesn't actually, nobody loses weight on diet Coke because they, but just because of the way that your body yearns for calories, 
after you drink the Diet Coke because it tricks it, makes it feel like it's satiated, and then it turns around and then says, wait, I'm still hungry. And then you end up eating the 200 calories anyways. So whether you ate the 200 calories in sugar or you ate it in a steak afterwards, you still have the extra 200 calories that then still added to the total overall weight, blah, 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 blah. You're doing you know this what I mean? on purpose to test your skills, aren't So you? it's just... Like that seems to be the the general consensus is that we still don't know if diet really works. And just drink Coke Zero. I watch, <laughs> well, same thing, same thing, same thing. But uh, but I watched the uh, um, the Coke CEO um, on a on on because I watched a lot of stock market stuff. But the Coke CEO um, talk about it, and they said, "Why don't you just like go one way or the other? Where are people? What are people drinking, and all that kind of stuff?" And he said, "Actually, it's like a 50-50." He said, "On the diet side of things, you got 50% of the people, and on the Coke side of things, you got 50% of people. There are people that will not switch to any kind of diet type thing." And he's like, "And that's where 50% of the business is, and 50% of the people are the people who are like think that they're health conscious or whatever else like that, and are going to grab a Coke Zero or a Diet Coke." And he's like, that's literally, and he said, and it's different markets too. He said over like here in U the U.S. or whatever, people are running around saying, oh, let me go grab a Coke, Coke Zero or a Diet Coke or whatever type thing because I'm conscious about my, wealth, my health or something like that. But like, he's like over in other foreign countries and stuff like that. They're like, no, Coca-Cola. And so they'll grab like the original Coke type thing. And it's like, it's like you can't cut one off or you'll cut off 50% of your income. You know what I mean? Like they're just not. It's just not the way it works. There's, there's international market, and that there's, that's actually dependent upon the origin of the country, on who likes what. I'm also like, it depends on how you market it, because for some reason, people have been marketed beer that is not craft beer, that is like Budweiser, Bud Light. Coors Light, <laughs> uh, Miller Light, you name it. Milwaukee's best. <laughs> that, uh, you know for ultra. sure that is that not tired. Milwaukee's best, okay? If that's the best thing coming out of Milwaukee's, everybody should move, okay? That's horrible. So, yeah, all of that. So, if you think about all that, there is something wrong. It's people have been marketed the two to three ingredients that they put into that rice mash that they call Budweiser, and they sold them on the fact that that is what they call refreshing beer. I'm like, 80% of that is like water. The rest of it is like PC some water. rice mash. And like, you don't even have much hops in there or anything. And they call it, it's smooth. It's smooth like water, because it's water. <laughs> I mean, like, like you're no literally selling people on water, bro. With a low alcohol content. And you're like, well, it's got a low alcohol content, so I guess you just got to drink more. I'm like, of course you do. Because the more you drink the more money they I mean does anybody see this <laughs> the craft beer oh that's nine dollars for a six pack not like I could for nine dollars I could get a I could get a 24 pack I'm just gonna drink 12 of them <laughs> you know what I mean like it's so ridiculous people just don't get it I got eight percent alcohol over here on this uh nine dollar one or I got four percent alcohol in the in the Budweiser I just want the Budweiser I want, the, I want the pee water. Good. I'll just drink the twice as many, which is equal to the same amount as getting the craft beer that actually had more full flavor and more hops in it and more ingredients that actually cost more money. So no wonder it's $9. But they just don't get it. And it, it, I didn't get it until I started making beer. Until I, I, I had kegs. I had I spent thousands of dollars in beer stuff, by the oh, way. I got to loot real quick. Uh, I actually wish I still had it. What's the last time it, you made Oh, you don't have it no more. <laughs> oh, I was heading your way, but yeah. Um, but yeah, until I, have, uh, I made beer and started doing like clones of different like recipes and stuff like that. And then I said, uh, you know, there was like Budweiser clones and different stuff. And I was like, wait a minute, there's like two to three ingredients here. And on the other ones, you got to do like multiple other steps. And I was like, no wonder it's more expensive because it's actually cost, it costs more, more for the ingredients. You're, you're, you're adding like eight different items in over here on one side. And on Budweiser, you're throwing three items in, you know? So it's kind of crazy like that. What's up, Amanda? Amanda Ford, thank my you so old, much. Greatly appreciate you. Psh, you rock. Thank you so much for that. My old neighbor song. used to, uh, used to brew and all that. Oh, it's good. He used to make a lot of, uh, used to make a lot of sours. 
It was really good. Sours, most of the most common thing that you can make is L's, like brown L's and different stuff like that. And it's because of the fact that it uh, ferments at a 70, 70 ish, around 70 ish degree temperature. Like lagers, oh, like Budweiser and stuff, have to go at a cooler temperature. So you need like a freezer to do it. Are, are you getting that right now? No, the radar? I got another no, radar. Amanda, thank you. Feel free to jump in and chat. Don't don't be shy. Uh, if you have any questions, you have anything you can talk about or whatever, cool. Jump in here with us. Um, I appreciate you, by the way. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of after spending so much money into <laughs> into kegs and freezers and uh, cleaning equipment and uh, barrels of. You know, to put stuff in and fermenting stuff in closets and temperature things and just like all different kinds of stuff or whatever like that. And working on sanitation, what I found was sanitation is the hardest part of everything. Because if you're going to ferment something for say two months, for example, you got to make sure everything's clean. Because otherwise you got mold and stuff growing for two months. And then are you going to drink that? I was like, you you got saying? have mold growing. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want stuff in your lines of your, of your, uh, the, you know, I mean, it, of your filtration and different stuff, whatever. You don't want stuff growing in there, mic microorganisms and stuff. So basically, you keep everything clean and sanitized as much as possible. And you have to have things at high heat. And as soon as it comes from high heat to cooler heat, now you start, as soon as it gets cold, it's now growing stuff. Uh, and when it's heat, it kills it. So you basically have to move from hot to, to cold as quickly as possible and start cooling that stuff to where it stops any kind of uh, uh, mold and stuff like that because that can change the flavor and everything else. You might get a headache. <laughs> yeah, it's like, man, this is messed up. What is it? It's called mushrooms. I was growing it off. I was growing, I was growing it off my bad beer. Uh, oh, stop. I got another live reward here. Are you kidding, bro? Yeah, we'll get it real quick. Oh, my Jesus. But yeah, Crazy. that's... That's, that's, that's my spill on that or whatever, but yeah, I did. There's different hops and different stuff, and so that's where I kind of started getting into more IPAs and like triple hopped beer and all that kind of stuff because then I realized there was like three different points or two different points at which somebody was putting hops and seeping hops in their beer, and then they had more flavor to it and more whatever, and then I was like, wait, after tasting that and then going over to what I like to call Budweiser and Miller and Piss Water. Miller White. And then yeah, I was no, like, wait, crazy, uh... this is like piss water. And I'm like, oh, wait, it's because it doesn't barely have any ingredients in it. So they're literally charging X amount of dollars for something that's barely got, it's got low alcohol, low calories, low whatever. And then I'm like, I should have just grabbed a bottle of water. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. No wonder it's cheap. Why have I been going for, wait, this is cheaper. And that's what I was thinking back in college and different stuff was, hey, this is cheaper. Why would I pay for something more expensive? And then when I realized it's because it's not of quality, it's crap. That's when I was like, I'm actually getting gypped. This what the heck, dude? Hold on. This thing is weird. But they have good advertising. I just went into a big circle, and apparently I'm missing it. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Advertising, my friend. If they can turn around and put on the big poster board in the middle of the Super Bowl this is what beer is like and then show you that people are getting their thirst quenched by a Budweiser and not a Miller and not a whatever that's how they went 90% of all of your uh, of the entire aisle too if, if nobody didn't know yeah, you actually need to look up the uh, brands that Budweiser Anheuser-Busch and Miller Coors which is both the same company now they've merged Miller Lite and Coors and stuff are both the same company if you look at the brands that are under those two, it's like 90% of all beers. So when you go to the supermarket and you see all these different types of beers, even the ones that look like they're craft, they're still owned by those big conglomerates. And they're just getting people at different ages and sizes and all the rest of stuff. So it's a bunch of trickery. And they pay the, there's we have a three tier brewing system in the United States which says that the same person that brews it can't be the same person that delivers it and can't be the same person that, that, that disses it out. So otherwise you would have like uh, Budweiser owning a Chili's restaurant 
and delivering it to Chili's fast and then only having their beer on tap to where you couldn't get any other beer than Budweiser. So they're like, okay, that's illegal. That's a monopoly. So instead, they have third-party people in between, you know, that are delivering it, and then they can't be in cahoots with the company. But it still works its way out to where it's at the benefit of Budweiser and these larger companies because if 90% of the beer comes from them, then the delivery driver is going to do what they want because 90% of the beer in the back of his truck is from Budweiser. You know what I mean? So he's going to put the beer in the supermarket exactly the height that he that they wanted at, you know what I mean, in the right position and all that kind of stuff because that's 90% of the business. Yet they're not supposed to be in cahoots. So it just doesn't work out the way that the government and the rest of the people tried to put rules in place. And in the end, the big dogs still win. So craft breweries are hard to come by, man. So that's why I also I. If, I, if there's a craft beer, I try to go for that over the... If it's got a twist top on it, it's cheaper to produce. Or it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a, a more more produced. If you have to open it with a can opener, then it's more of a craft brew. Like Bud Light. Fun fact. <laughs> like Bud Light, you can open with your hand. Alright, you can switch off. I forgot. This, that, free trial on Stadia? Uh, you can, you can, yeah, you can, uh, start up Stadia. You got two months of pro membership, and then after that, you can just cancel. You can cancel immediately if you want to or whatever, but, uh, you can claim all the games, play for two months, the, uh, uh, what games they offer you for the pro, and then, uh, if you want to play, basically, you can buy any of those games outright and play them on the free version, uh, and always play those games, but once you don't do the pro 999 membership, then uh, you won't have any games. If you're just playing off the 999 Pro membership, what they give you, uh, you know, you'll have those games as long as you keep up that membership. Once you stop that membership, then you have to, then you're able to play any game that you purchased. So yeah, if you so buy the crew too, you, go ahead. If you just buy a game, then, then it's not actually a trial. You actually keep it. Yes. Any game you buy or whatever, it's on your account forever. And even if the game maker turns around and says, I don't want this on Stadia anymore, they will still allow it to be played on Stadia. So even if it gets pulled from there and no one else can buy it, you bought it, so they'll continue. They've said that they will continue allowing you access to that game. And that's like a promise that I think a lot of digital services don't even make. True. Like, there's some yeah. stuff from like Steam that's been taken off and yeah. Now, I don't know. I haven't been on the other side of it, so I don't know if people lose access to that at any given point or if they continue getting access. So I, I, I can't verify that. But, but, but yeah, I know what you're saying. I think most of the time they still allow you to download it, but I think there's some instances where, uh, where it's actually just been non-playable. But as far as this goes, uh, there is nothing you can lose by playing Stadia. I really love the fact that it's, like, literally you can sign up right now. If you need help signing up, too, I'll, I'll, I'll help show you how to sign up. But um, you can sign up right now, and uh, it's completely free. So, yeah, you got to tie, tie a card to it or whatever else like that and uh, jump in but, um, and sign up. But you can cancel the membership or whatever for getting re reoccurring charges. And then you can just be on the, pla the the free platform and then just keep your name there and buy games as you out a la carte, you know, as you see fit. And if you don't want to play, then don't play. And if you do, then whatever. If you like PlayStation better or Xbox or whatever else, it doesn't really matter because you still can have a stadium membership. It doesn't, none of that really matters. You could have a friend that's like, hey, Spider over here is, plays on Stadia. I'm going to buy the crew too on Stadia. But I'm going to go play with my other friends on whatever, on my Xbox or whatever it may be. We can all live in harmony, people. It's the same. Like, if there's a first-person game I want to play, and I don't care about its portability. I love Stadia, but I will not buy it on Stadia. And especially if it's cheaper on Steam or somewhere else, why would I buy it on Stadia 
just to have portability for a single person game that I don't need to be portable. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to like build my collection on some single player game just because I want to play it on Stadia if Stadia doesn't benefit me. I'm the same way for like just like first person shooters and like competitive stuff like Apex. Even if it comes to Stadia, I'll probably still play it on PC. Yeah, so it, because... and you can. It doesn't. It's there's nothing holding yeah. people back from that. And I think people will start getting into, oh no, but I got it over here, or no, I, I got to But do you want to play that same game on the fly or on your phone or on something else? Because if the answer is yes to any of those, then cool, Stadia works. You know what I mean? Like so stop, like relegating yourself to the specific hardware. I guess. There's been a whole battle, you know, it hasn't helped having the last 10 years of a battle between PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and Master Race, you know what I mean, <laughs> type yeah. stuff. And then it wasn't until Nintendo Switch came out where everybody was like, ah, I can see this portability work, you know, and people started getting hyped up about this portability factor. Give it a little go. And they were willing to take some 720p gaming and 1080p when they were at home and then buy a Switch. Look how many people bought a Switch. And you literally have people jumping in saying, hey, this stadium doesn't look like it's 4K. And you're like, there ain't a single Switch game 4K. And yet people bought $300, $400 for a dang Switch, you know? And have jumped in playing Animal Crossing. Best game ever, by the way. Best game ever, by the way. <laughs> I <know. laughs> Stop. But you know what I mean? Like, people are just like touting that up like crazy. I'm gonna go buy another $80 Switch controller. You know what I mean? Like, this is the yeah, best thing yeah, ever since sliced bread. Like, I can't hook up with my friends. I've got no real good voice chat or anything like that because they're protecting me from the world. But I'll tell you what, I'm ready to jump in here and play Splatlings. I probably spent more on a Switch controller than a Stadia controller. <laughs> best money method is Uber on a boat race. The boat race? Really? Oh, thank you, IWI. Appreciate you. How you doing, by the way? I hope you're doing well. Sorry, I'm, I'm like eight. I'm like paying attention to the stream here. You guys win it for me. Get it, Jacob. <laughs> but yeah, so there's just a whole bunch of, I think, people getting hung up on stuff. And most of the people that I talk to about Stadia or have mentioned Stadia too, even my own friends, literally turn around and say, what's that? And then I tell them what it is. And then I say sign up, and then they go, yeah, but can I play with my PlayStation controller with that? And I'm like, yeah, yeah you can play with PlayStation. And they're like, okay, so when I download the games, though, you does it blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you don't download games. I'm like, wait, have you even researched this? This thing's been out since November. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what do you, people just literally have no clue what this thing is. They're like so out my of their My coworker mind. asked about it. He was like, what's Stadia? And I was like, dude, I showed you in November. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm like, I can, and I feel like I have told my own friends, like, what this is. You need to jump on this. And they're like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll look into that. And then they move on. And it's like two months later, I get a text message. Hey, about that Stadia and this and that. And I'm like, you could have been playing this for the last two months. It's not even worth me even talking about at this point. Like, you you know what I mean? Like, you're obviously I'm just not like, you either as want interested. It or you don't. Yeah, I'm just yeah. like, wow, wait, I'm wasting my time here. I'm trying to tell you about something that you can easily Google. Oh, Lord. I'm running everything today, guys. Sorry. But, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I just, I don't know what there is a negative about free. Even if, if we go with a free tier. Let's go with the free tier. Free. 1080p gaming, buy the games a la carte that you want. If you don't buy any games and you don't want to play any games on Stadia, cool. You never spend a dollar. So, why not sign up? <laughs> free. Full free. It's free pro, Full isn't it? Free. free pro. Right now it's for free, free pro, pro two, two months. months. Yeah. So you already get what? And like then worst case scenario, it's wait, I get two to three games every month and the, the eight, nine games that they give me, that if there's anything on that list that you might want to play for eight nine, for $9 a month or whatever like that, if you look at it like in six months, you bought one of those games, you know, in real life for 60 bucks or whatever, 
it's worth it. And you didn't pay the con for the console, and you didn't pay for whatever, and you get all the. It's just I don't understand what's the deal. I wish somebody could actually really tell me. To not to sign up. I wish somebody could give me a good reason why they won't sign up. Like, one of the good reasons would be. What does it hurt? You know, it's yeah. free. Why not try? Well, I don't it have out. a good internet, so you're never gonna have a good internet the next year. You don't know that. Like, what do you? What, like, Forever. Okay. Ever, forever. Yeah, you, can just, you can just, like, replay those games once you get past your internet, like, a year or two from now. I had a, if you just cancel. I had a friend turn around and really say... Have... I, I had a friend turn around and say, uh, it was, uh, Kevin, whatever, turn around and say, uh, there's nothing that I, there's no games that I want to play right now that's on there. So you didn't sign up because there's no f games that you want to play right now on there. Okay, well, they're not always going to offer the two free months to you and the sign up and this and that. What if they close the sign up? What if they make just it worse? You know what I mean? Like, you know? so right. you just didn't sign up because there's no games on there that you want to play or whatever like that type thing. It's just like, tell me what's free. I'm going to go sign up for it. <laughs> just to have it. I'm a different type of species then, I guess. Because I just, I'm a collector. Call me a collector. <laughs> I want the service uh -huh. just because it's free. Maybe they might come out with something in one day in my life that I might want to play and guess what? I already got a name. I already signed up for it. <laughs> you know, like why not? Anyways. Cool stuff, boys. Let's let's go to the next uh Um Street Race, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, it is really hot in my room. Am I wrong though, guys? Am I wrong? Yeah, you're wrong. wrong. Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, tell me if I'm wrong or if you have a different opinion. I don't want anybody like me. No, I actually, I, I actually, I actually agree with you. Um, I feel like the like, it's just because Call of Duty is not on here or Fortnite or Fortnite, or, yeah. or like Apex Legends, which I might not like, but games. yeah, the world does. With but like, I feel like that's the main thing is it's not catching anybody's eyes. But I, I feel it. too on the other side. Then what is doing it for the Switch or some other things? You know, it's just that's where I come in, like saying like it's the wave. Like Animal Crossing became popular because I want to say because of the virus, the, the like everyone quarantined, nothing to do, blah blah blah. And, uh, they see it on Twitter, bruh. <laughs> I got hit. Um, but yeah, no, like it's like it's the wave. And that's what's popular right now. So of course everybody's gonna hop on a bandwagon and uh, get it. Well, I think with the Switch, you know, Nintendo also had like a a little bit of a head start because they still had like diehard fans. Even yeah, yeah, true. So, that's true. Google's got nothing. Yep, that's true. No gamer fans at least. That's true. And most of the gamer people who were oh my lord, I hit a fence and flew off in Never Neverland. <laughs> most, of, most, of, most of the people who who even game who are gamers that i know of are like wait what stadia because the advertising is so bad on it you know what i mean like they don't even know it exists or don't they th they kind of look at it like it's a joke and i'm and so from my perspective being in it and everything like that I, you know I'm a developer and stuff i look at it like no i think google's come to their senses on just like everything, just like streaming. They have the most, one of the most streamed uh, video platforms called YouTube, that is a service that they've continued to be streaming to people. This is literally an extension of that same service. It is literally just streaming you a video. That's exactly how I uh, explained Stadia to people. I was like, imagine watching a YouTube video that's interactive and you can control it with your keyboard and mouse and controller. I was like, that's and what Other people are like, oh, that's gonna die. And I'm like, Okay, Microsoft's investing in cloud gaming, Amazon's investing in cloud gaming, NVIDIA, the graphics card company, GeForce is investing in cloud gaming, uh, Microsoft, Xbox's, PlayStation's, and uh, Google's cloud is all based off of AMD, pro AMD graphics cards. And it's like, so you got all these companies jumping in here and doing this gaming when everybody's going to mobile phones and everything else and not caring about whether it's on your water-cooled PC or their mobile phone. And they're playing stupid mobile phone games. They're even playing Fortnite and Call of Duty on mobile phones. So they're not this hardcore 
Xbox scuff controller, nade shot player that you may think they are. You know what I mean? The majority of people aren't in gaming chairs sitting back on Twitch. You know what I mean? Like, so you throw that out there and that's what Google's tapping. And that's what they're looking at. And they're saying, that's cool. If you don't know me, don't go on. You know what I mean? Like they, they have a different, they're going a different way with it. Twitch is going to hit up all the rest of the, the, the side of things. And then Microsoft, I think are going to be more laggards than anything else. Even though people turn around and say, oh, the X Cloud's so awesome and all this kind of stuff with the Xbox. I think you'll find once Google does their thing, once Amazon does theirs, Microsoft's going to fall a little bit behind because they fell off behind with Mixer and we're late to the game with that. And then, I mean, between YouTube and Twitch, Mixer had to make its way up. And then, uh, as far as just gaming in general, whatever, cloud gaming, they have good servers. Stadia has to make their way up. And now Stadia has to make their way up. I mean, as far as a, a, a rep, but just all the same with the same people that say, "Well, I don't trust Google for anything." It's like, but you trust Amazon or Microsoft? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, people are like, "Oh, well, I don't want Google knowing every game I play or whatever." Your so bank knows Microsoft everything you do. Microsoft and Sony do the exact same thing. I don't think Microsoft or Sony like yep. don't track the games you buy or whatever. Yeah. I feel like it's a misunderstanding of there's 10 other things to worry about. Like, I'm going to let this person track me. And then they, and then they say, Hey Google, do blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wait, stop. No, no, don't, don't, don't actually do that. Google. Thank you. But yeah, it's like, I don't want nobody tracking me. Hey Alexa, buy me more toilet paper. <laughs> I'm like, do you know you're just like, okay, never mind. It's like they're worried about Google tracking them, and then there's hype for the PlayStation 5 controller, which yeah. literally has a microphone in yes. it. Yes. It's like every single company is doing this now. That's not, it's not a, you cannot. Your TV remote that. has a microphone in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> which is like. Forget that. Hey, Siri, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what mobile device you have now, whether it's Bixby, Google Assistant, Siri, uh, whatever device it may be, it's all starting to go towards the same thing of oh, their tracking people. Get over it. I'm gonna hide out. Either but yet I want a gaming system where I can hide out. That doesn't that doesn't happen anymore. That's tech and tech's integrating their tech stuff in there. You're lucky they don't know how fast your heart beats right now while you're playing a certain game. Because they'll tune that map to your heartbeat. <laughs> you know what I mean if they could. Well, I mean, now drive like it's the only place I've ever been. Yep. It's so definitely an Apple Watch. I'm going to have to buy a new one. <laughs> I feel so naked without a watch. <laughs> oh, Lord. I missed that check one. Uh, I literally yeah, don't even wear a watch broke. anymore. I've never gotten the Apple Watch thing, to be honest. Let me be Didn't honest. You get, don't you have a smart watch? No. So yes, I well no, I seen you no, watch. I have a Fitbit. Oh, a Fitbit. And let me tell you the reason. <laughs> the reason I have a Fitbit is because it ties into Red Brick Health, which my company uses, right, to lower my health insurance money. So the more I move, oh, that's cool. Whatever like that, the more discount I get on my health insurance. So if I'm saving 100, 200 dollars a quarter or whatever like that by me just wearing it, it's yeah. almost like it's a no-brainer for me. You know what I mean? So that's, that's why cool. I wear it. But like otherwise, like that. why would I don't know why there's nothing I want to see on a two inch screen or care about reading that I can't pull my phone out of my pocket or anything else like that. So, yeah, it I comes just, in clutch, like, especially uh, while I'm working and all that. I, I like it. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a necessity. I just don't think it's I a necessity. It. I think it's I think it's an old school thing that we're holding on to because it doesn't I don't feel like it doesn't offer that much benefit to the to the hassle. You charge it, you have to put it on your wrist, it gets in the way in certain things, it does certain stuff, whatever for the one, two, three, four times you look at it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm I just happy that my watch lasted as long as it did and because I had bought it in twenty fourteen. And it, it's like 
I was constantly using it. I always had it on my wrist. Even when I used to like bar back at a bar, it'd be on my wrist. It'd be dunked in water and everything, but it lived. What about like, so opportunity costs and stuff like that? Like what could you have bought with that cash other than, you know what I mean? Like that type of stuff, whatever. What is it? $100, $200? How much is an Apple oh, watch? I think it's like three. Like, do you know like, what I mean? Like you're literally like paying for a third mine, of a phone? I bought it off of uh, Craigslist, off this old dude for a hundred. When he came out, he was like, yeah, I have no need for this. I got you. And I was like, all right, why not? I just buy an Apple watch. <laughs> But you see so how that's to me iPhone, like a kind of a luxury that. item that just like is yeah that's, no, that's what that's what I say is it's not a necessity but I like it I like I mean I've also become accustomed to it and all that. So my next thing is is whenever they started developing things for the uh, for the Apple Watch that was how to help old people do this and that or whatever or if they fall it alerts the. The, um, I have fallen. Yeah, I yeah. It alerts the authorities and blah blah blah. And that's where I used to check. I, I was joking with my father-in-law, and I say, "Well, you can obviously tell what their target market is. The old person that has a heart attack. So I'm not gonna be wearing a watch at 25. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just not for me. They're uh, they're yeah, targeting just, those old people who love those Macs and Apples back in the days. They're still like targeting some old school idea. And I don't think. 20 years from now, we're going to be running around with the watches. I think more or less we'd have it implanted in us more than we would have it in our wrist. Because um, you're going to have to fight between having the phone, having the watch, having the earbud, having the, you see what I'm saying? If that, if that watch disappeared and you didn't need a display and it just told you what the message was in your ear and you were sitting here talking to your best friend in your ear, why would you look down at your watch? You see what I'm saying? If they had good enough AI with the ear and the talking. But I think that's also not where technology is at right or now. Or the glasses, so right? Like, so now they throw in the glasses, like glass. <laughs> right? So now you have glasses you and you're doing it or contacts that give you the the insight. Now you start becoming one like a machine, right? Mr. Bionic, Bionic Man. And so now you got contacts or glasses. You got in, in your ear, you're talking to it. So basically now where's the watch? It's, it's gone. You, you killed the watch. I think that's where it's heading more than. But yeah, they're still working on technology. Everything is always the base, right? Let me try this or whatever. I think the whole watch thing right now is the, is the beta of how we can integrate into something else. Then they're going to cancel all that stuff off. And the next thing is going to be Apple just came out with glasses that can do blah, 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 that you can talk to and see things out of. And now your watch is on your face, right? You don't need to look down at your watch. Your watch is in your face. And they can give you any ads or do anything they want to do at that point. Because eventually you're going like to feel the, like that 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 e-cig smoker that has to make sure all their batteries are charged before they walk out the door. Because you're going to have your watch you need to charge, your eyeglasses you need to charge, your phone you need to charge, and then, oh my God, what if one of them's broken? That just, like, kills the link. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got my eyeglasses working and my phone's working, but my God, my watch is not working. I'll never be able to look down. I'll have to take my phone out of my pocket from now on. Well, that's the thing, too, right? Like, smartphone's basically a pocket watch. Yep. One. I agree. Yeah, and I think that, that, you know, that killed the watch in general. And I think by them putting the whole smartphone type thing onto the watch has been more or less a, you still need the phone most of the time, unless you're buying the watch with LTE connection and all that kind of stuff, right? You still have to have the phone near. So it's nothing but more than a companion so really all it is is exactly your phone except you just didn't pull your phone out of your pocket so it stopped you from one movement of pulling something out of your pocket you know what i mean and your phone does even more than that watch does so i just don't think it's worth the value in my opinion yeah that's fine it's like it's kind of just like that people pay for it. it's like, a nice to have I, I i like to have it 
and I know it's not a necessity, but you know, I just like it. I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not arguing that. I'm just saying, in my in my opinion, so why I haven't bought one, or why I think, like, because I'm looking at it like I don't have to have it. Is what I'm feeling, right? I'm feeling like, is that like, is it urging me to like, I gotta get one of these. You know what I mean? Like, I need one. It's almost like I'm like. I really could just pull my phone out of the fire. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, I, so that's where it gets me in my head. I'm like, wait, why are we buying these? I could just pull my phone out of the pocket. You know what I mean? I could do way more on my phone than what this watch can do. And so that's where I'm, I've always been stuck with the, the watch thing. And I don't think it's a future uh, uh, next five, ten years type thing. I think a smartwatch would be pretty cool to have if you're like in school or something. Just being able to like mess with your watch or whatever. <laughs> As you're listening to a lecture. <laughs> I mean, I agree with you there. I mean, you like have your phone out. There are there are there are there are reasons. Yeah. So like like my like I know a lot of so a lot of the a lot of higher ups and VPs and managers and stuff like that use it because it's a lifesaver to them because they don't pull their phone out. You don't pull your they phone out, yeah. They can't be in the middle of a meeting and saying, "All right, guys, what we need to do is we need to stick together. We really need to focus." Hold on, just a minute. Let me pull my phone out of my pocket. You know what That's I mean? Somebody's like calling it. me. They look down at their watch on their arm and they click and then move on with their conversation. And they knew that their wife just told them to bring groceries home. It's, it's kind of like when when I'm in meetings at work, and you you you'll be shooting text messages, and I'd be like, my bad, I was in a meeting, <laughs> blah blah blah. But yeah, I was yeah. reading all those text messages. Yeah, and that's like yeah, through yeah, my watch. Yeah, yeah. It's a convenience factor. Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's more convenience, but it's also still not a necessity. Hold on, I'm trying to like focus on winning, and Miles is over here on my butt. All good, man. Yeah, so I just. So that was just my point of view. It's not like hating on the fact that somebody else finds more value in it than I do or whatever else like that. It's just, it was me literally just trying to say, I can see how other people do. I just don't think as for the majority of people, the Amazon worker packing stuff, the Walmart employee uh, uh, pushing my groceries into a bag, uh, bag, you know what I mean? Like, like 80, 90% of people who can literally just pull their phone out of their pocket or don't need to be pulling their, pulling their phone out of the pocket because they're literally at work right now. You know what I mean? Like, they're not a VPs and whatever it may be. They're not getting emails that are that important. You know what I mean? Like, they need to be doing something different. So I just don't think, I think it's a very uh, niche market, you know? So, which is why I don't think a lot of people, uh, even Google, who are like buying Fossil and Google who bought Fitbit. So Google purchased Fitbit, Google bought like Fossil or whatever else like that. So literally you got what, like Google and I, Apple are the two companies, you know? And how many things have you seen come out with Google and how many things you've seen, things you've seen come out by Apple? It's just not still a big market at all, you know? Nobody really wants the products. They can come out with 14 different watches they want, but you still have to have the people that need it or want it, and I just don't think that is there. I'm gonna go to a degree that makes those companies lots of money if they actually, there's only so much you can do. That's one of the things why I've always loved like Google and I've bought Google phones is because Google to Android is that, I mean, Google to iPhone and Apple has been Google's stance on it. Everybody says, why doesn't Google make a phone that beats the Apple iPhone? But I mean, they, they make a good amount of money, right? They can just be, make, make the specs and everything better. It's because Google turns around and says, we don't need to. We've got like one, 2% of the market share with our Pixel phones or whatever, like maybe 1%. And they're like, we can't fight Samsung, Apple, Microsoft, uh, LG, Sony, you know what I mean, Motorola, you got all these people who specialize in making phones. And what they look at it like is we're too late to the game. And they look at all these little boxes, these little square, these little rectangles that everybody's creating that can modularize, that can do all this different stuff, that have different screens on it. And they say, what runs those? Software. And so they say, if we can make the AI awesome and to where when you say, hey, 
pay my bill. It pays your bill for you, and it helps your life out. That's much better than saying you have a really fast square. You know what I mean? And that's where the difference, I think, that they're taking it different than these other companies and why they don't have to be the top of creating a better, faster phone. They just need it to be able, whenever you tell it something or do something or, hey, set the set the timer to five minutes or tell me the directions to whatever, it needs to do those things right and 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 help you out in life. And they're looking at it like the future of AI. They're working on the brain of the system, not the hardware. They're like, you got this hardware, guys. You know, Sony, Microsoft, all the rest of y'all, y'all, y'all do the hardware. We're out. We're going to work on the brain. We're going to be the best AI. Because that's where the future is going to go. We can then take that AI that's learned off of everybody talking to it and everybody doing stuff, and we can take that and move it to a system that actually matters or does something or flips people's hamburgers or whatever the heck it may be. That's the smarter way to go about about the future than to focus on that they put a glass back and a glass front on a phone and you can engrave your name on it and send it to your best girlfriend in your mansion and you got an Apple iPhone. Cool. You drive a Cadillac. It's fun. I don't think that's the future, though. The, the square doesn't matter. What it does is what matters. Are you guys stuck on a live screen right now, or is it just? I'm, 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 I'm at there where it's like you guys should accept the mission. I'm at the, I'm at the black live loading screen. Up. Yeah, I just, I just came out for a second. I'm gonna go back in. Player will Jacob declined. Grand new delight accepted. Mine is still in the this black screen. Okay, let me back out for a Not second. Here. Grand noodles here. I'll back out for a second here. Return to free drive. Give it a second. Uh, I'm gonna reset the game. There's no reset in the game, sir. It's all in the cloud. I'll watch this then. <laughs> you can't reset the cloud. Alright, I'm gonna reset the game. Every time I go it's in, like, it says player will Jacob decline, so you must be stuck in something. Yeah, the live screen. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was <laughs> saying about the live screen. All right, I'm going to go to the rest restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. And then hopefully you'll be reset by then. Said this hoodlum, hoodlum wants to join. Heck no! Don't let no him in. Tech, 
Uh, Xbox joined that invite. Thank you. <laughs> Xbox record that. Xbox. Oh. Xbox. Oh, it's not working. Wait. Microsoft had a failed product. It's called the Connect. They don't make them anymore. Wait, isn't that like Google Stadia just stopping? I would never buy another Microsoft product. Look how many things they just cancel. Dang. Hey, anybody got a Nokia? F oh, rip. They canceled that too. You guys ever heard of Internet Explorer that's not based off of Chromium? Oh, wait. They based everything off of Chromium. Android, Chromium, Google. Huh, weird. Just throwing some facts out there, boys. I'm also eating some nuts. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ha ha ha. Good boy. This will Stop. probably be my last race tonight. For sure. Don't you do it, don't you do this. Man, hold on, I'm trying to like, take off this drink and <laughs> Hmm? What do you mean? I have Stream Connect on right now. Oh. I'm like trying to take it off. <laughs> I'm trying also trying to win a race. <laughs> Here, I'll turn it on. There you go. Now you got to look at. Yay. There you go. I'm trying to. There you go. <laughs> Yay. Hey, yeah. we're all in here, boys. Let's go. It's a party. Now everybody can know whenever I bump Jacob in the rear, who actually <laughs> ran him off the road. Hey, Jacob, whatever you do, I'm going really fast. I'm going to need you to continue to go straight. But if I hit you in the rear, it's because you're going slow. Be very uh, cognizant of how fast I am, Jacob. Look up. Oh my lord. Wait, where'd you go? Right behind you. Okay. It literally like, disappeared on my ground. Wow, <laughs> that was like a drift event drift right there. I know. You see how like sideways I go? I was getting sideways too. I was like, okay. It's almost better in this game. Like, once you start losing something, or once you start losing grip, or getting off of the main road, it's almost like you almost need to just freaking take your time and just stay on the main road and you would win better. Yeah. Because I feel like I rush, 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 go off the road. I spend more time going off the, the road and trying to get back fast. on it. For people that just go straight and get on the road and just, like, do their thing. real name it's Terrence Clarence <laughs> is it Clarence or Terrence Clarence Clarence <laughs> you got real nice parents oh my lord okay okay this is you bro this is you I literally hit a rock and did that rock thing and bounced up into the air forever what's up hello Vital maybe I said you right but maybe I didn't but I apologize if I didn't, because it's got a El Nino sign up above it there. And yeah. It's got a and yeah. It was like, Vital. Shut the what up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Method Man. Little <laughs> <laughs> biscuit. Chicao. But hello, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great night. Maybe it's night. Could be morning. I don't know where you're coming from. Could be right. midday. You know. Could be midday. <laughs> I mean, I don't know anymore. It's this whole internet thing, you know? It just kills me. Because inevitably, I'm always the one that, like, turns around and, and says, Hey, good morning. And somebody says, It's afternoon for me. And I'm like, okay, okay. I'm like, hey, good night. It's like, it's the morning. It's 4 a.m. I'm like, okay, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't do this internet thing. I don't know. Whatever time it may be for you, what's up? <laughs> Let's just roll with the punches. I am stuck in the water. 
It's all good. Please tell me that. How are you? You got Stadia? You play this game? Anything about yourself? What's up? Loot, 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 loot. I hate the stock, man. This stock, I just keep getting full on. I wish there was a, also a feature in games that didn't make you have to take on things that you didn't want to take on. For instance, green loot. When I have like 90 blue, 90 red, 90, I mean, 90 pink, 90 orange, I mean, uh, yellow. Like, why, why, why would you even accept green loot, <laughs> you know, at this point? Just stop it. Stop. Get the beat down. Hee hee hee. Woo. Alright, I think I'm going to head off for tonight. Thank you, buddy. Alrighty, man. Thank you so you much. Have a good night. Great playing with you. Hit us up soon, man. I should hit yeah, the other friend. Me. Yep. Thanks for the friend request. Thanks for the Damn, over here trying to support, like, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> trying to open up the uh struggling. <laughs> it's like screen struggling right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like what buttons what? <laughs> Where am I? Mom. What's life like? What's life like on the other side? That's the dark side. That's You'll soon find I'm out, son. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. Mom, you're psycho. All right. All right. All right. Man. Peace out. Have a good night. Yep. Thank you. Dude, I kind of want a 350Z or 370Z. It was. It, it was. But it was I'm pretty so, decent. I'm so close to getting this pack, but then I feel like, am no. I gonna like regret buying the pack? But I, I, I think I feel like you may no because there's no regret because the 350Z is not on sale. So that's what I would say about that, right? Hold on. The 350Z is not on sale, but the pack is. So I would grab the pack because you can always buy the 350Z. You can't get the pack. Always. Right? That's a street race. Yeah. And it's not like you're like in a need of having to get something that that wins. You know? It's not like the 370Z is going to come out and just win matches for you. That. You don't have to have it. Thing. Drift five five thousand four hundred and seventy yards with a drift vehicle and free drive. I know in Vegas I still haven't done that yet, surprisingly. Okay, I'm about to just drift real quick. Uh just get this contract real quick. Uh, yeah, me too. Um travel two, whatever. I don't care. Vegas, right? You have to do it in Vegas. No, I think I, I, I think mine is wherever. I just need to do it in a drift vehicle in uh, free drive. How do you check it again? It's in contracts, I guess. Mine's contract, contract, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I just need to do it. Yeah, you have one in Vegas. Mine is drift 5,470 yards with a drift equal for your. We don't have the same mission. That's crazy how far Vegas is. <laughs> oh, ripper on it. Oh man, you have the years in Vegas? I can do mine anywhere. I think I finished that one already. The one that to drift it's anywhere. It's all random. It's like, you can pin it, re-roll it. You can do whatever. Yeah, no, because I, I, I had one before the Vegas one, and it was that one to drift, like, anywhere. I think in, it might be in my RNG to, like, the same one I get. The one I have right now. I don't know. I don't feel that we have a limited amount of things they actually do. It's not going to be any more than what the game can do, right? Whoa! Uh, I was trying to, like, teleport out of it. I didn't know that thing was breakable. wonder... Should I just go... Let's do RE7 here. Let's see if that makes it any faster.
Man, if these cars got out of my way, I'd be like a pro drifter right now. Well, you know, you know, where these cars get out of your way. Yeah, that thing already says, man. It just really tears it up. I don't know what's wrong with it. Basically a drift team vehicle, man. I don't say. That's not it. I'm not a big fan of an RX7, but it definitely can drift. I love the RX7, bro. And it's mainly the reason why I got into the RX7 at first was like I've always wanted an RX7, so I bought it on the PT. And I was like, oh, it turned out it was like the best drift point <laughs> It's the, uh, it's the FD too. I oh, know SD, I'm sorry. No, no, this is an FD. FD. Yeah, I've just never been a fan of RX7. It just doesn't. I don't know. It just seems like. I love them in like real life movie. too. Yeah. I'm just like. I've I'm, never... not a, I'm not a fan of big cars, so in general. So you can't take my opinion for anything because I had motorcycles. So you know what I mean? Like if I had a choice between. A thirty thousand dollar Tesla or a CBR six hundred R. I would take a CBR. You know what I mean? Like I would take a motorcycle. I, I'm yeah. just not a fan of cars. Yeah. I don't want to carry luggage. I don't. I don't care about like getting my groceries in. You know what I mean? Like I just don't care. I don't it's care about cars. Like, uh... buying four wheels. I'll just try to take two wheels. Willy. Really. Other people are like, I don't, other people don't like motorcycles. And they're like, what are you going to do when it rains? What are you going to do when, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I can slide off. You just get through it. Off, you know, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm more safe because I've got, It's more like, if you really want something, you're going to go for it and not care what anybody else says. I got a five-point harness. I got roll bar cages. You're going to die if you hit a wall, you know? It's just like, so it spins. And that's that should be the risk that you know when you're when you're buying something like that. You're like, oh yeah, I know I'm gonna die. I might, I'm like, I know I might that's die. Why I bought the Brusa so I could go 230 <laughs> and hit the wall. I'm like, not gonna give a crap when I hit the wall. <laughs> Nothing won't matter anymore after yeah. that. <laughs> I don't really care. You're worried about getting roll cages, this and that. Like, do you actually want to hit something at 230 or what? <laughs> like, I don't want to hit anything at 230. You're planning for the worst. I'm planning for the best. Think about that. I'm planning for the best. If I jump on a Busa, right, that can go 200 something miles an hour, and I don't have roll cages or five point seatbelt harnesses, I'm planning for the best, right? There you go. And if you get in a car that has that, and you're like, oh, I'm in a race car, and it's got all these seatbelt harnesses, got airbags, this and that, you're planning for the worst. I'm not thinking I'm going to wreck. You're thinking, but what if I wreck? Who's the most careless? <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. What a safety harness <laughs> to have. But my dad died in a car. Okay. Whoa, when did I get all this stuff? Look at these in my screen. I know, me too, dude, me too. I, I get it sometimes too. I'll like pop out and just be like, what the? There's this is like stuff that I just missed or got too full for and didn't get a crap. When did I get this for that Alpha Grand Prix? Hey Google, what my new is my anniversary is. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to get oh, in trouble, dude. <laughs> hey, Google, stop. Google's going to stitch you out. <laughs> oh, my oh, now I'm getting a text message from the wife. Why are you asking you don't remember. anniversary? Oh, my. Oh, my Lord. Okay. That's the photo. <sighs> With this, oh, you can grab oh my lord, what y'all doing? <laughs> so much. <laughs> so much. Oh my god. 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 O
Jacob? What is it? Did we or did we not? I still like am literally running around with no. I got 25 Affix points or... on Bender. Like, I need to actually, like. Wait, what's the ra Grand Rally Pricks? Whatever. What pre? discipline is that, that? That would be pre, buddy. Oh. That's how you spell pre. No, like. It's not I don't know it's what it's under. What if I don't have a car? But then I wouldn't have gotten loot. What are you talking about, bro? Uh, Grand Rally Pricks? Pre. Okay, I'm just gonna say Pricks. <laughs> How about you just say Pre? It's not Pricks, it's Pre. Potato, potato, same thing. It's not at all. It's not. It's not at all. It's like that's not how you say it at all. It's not a grand. It's not a grand prix. It's. It's. I'm gonna go buy a Pontiac Grand Prix. So why don't they spell it like you know? Because it's not the way it's spelled. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this any better. English is so dumb. He's like, forget them. Their world oh. is stupid. I live in mine. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. What? They... what? Like it would be under Grand Rally Pricks, right? Oh. <laughs> oh my god he said it again. okay you have a good night <laughs> i swear i gotta go this fun. fool's driving me nuts grand it's rally pricks pre oh my god oh my god grand rally pricks he's just trying to do it he's Man, just trying to do it just ignore him that. just ignore him hey jacob how you doing I'm, I'm just trying to find this Grand Rally Pricks car. You, you would be trying to find that Grand Rally Pricks car. You little pricks. <laughs> you little pricks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch your I name. keep on falling. You gotta love me. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> do, do we uh, roll for another street race? You got a vehicle on you want? It's a team, man. That's the. I got hey, all the man. time in the world. No, you ain't got no time. No, no, you ain't got none. What are you talking about? You don't even know what you're doing in your life. What you doing in your life, bro? I don't know. Maybe I should oh, go to bed. Maybe oh I should go to God. bed. It is 106. Yeah, I think I should go to bed. I don't want to, but, you know, I think I should. It's Friday. I'm going to be responsible. Friday tomorrow. Because it's Friday. Oh, I'm my gonna, God. And I'll be playing back with you tomorrow, so. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm watching. I was watching Dre stream. They're playing this scary game. Oh, but anyways, deuces, man. Have a great night. Thanks so much for playing, dude. I greatly appreciate you. I greatly appreciate you, my boys and people that have jumped up in here. People in the chat, thank you. I appreciate you. And uh, can't wait till you come to Cali, bro. Florida. I mean, Friday. Let's go Friday. Oh, you want to go Florida on Friday? No. Not really. I was like, yes. <laughs> I can't go anywhere right now with the whole yeah, same. coronavirus, man. I haven't like, I haven't been doing anything. Dude. Well, I haven't either. Like, I haven't probably mind. the main reason why I've been on like a lot and very frequent. Which is actually good. You should probably keep that up. I think it's cool because my bank account is looking cool. That's, so great. Like, That's great. Because that doesn't happen. Like you can get yeah. you, a, you can get you a girl or, or wife or whatever, and that won't happen. So. You know what happens in those times? Is the bank account starts losing more. Because it's boredom. <laughs> How do you stop that? Question mark. Uh, but yeah. I like how you say when. I was like, nope. <laughs> you know, someday. He's like, I like how you say nope. someday like it's going to happen. You know? Someday like it's going to happen. Oh, well, you, know, you don't know that. You, bro. I'm going to die alone. That's how I want to die. I don't think that's going to happen, though. <laughs> that's the problem. There's not a lot of people that do that. Maybe I'm different. You? Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, everybody. <laughs> Watch out now. This one's different. <laughs> this one's not a sheeple like the rest of everybody I see every day in my life. Look at all you, Look at all you guys. Sheeples. <laughs> Yeah, this one, this one follow definitely. Follow the social norms. Yeah, this guy <laughs> definitely doesn't follow the short social norm. He's not on the crew. Or he's not on stadium like everybody else. He's not on his PC gaming every night like everybody else. He's doing something different. Watch out now. <laughs> yeah, watch out. This boy is different. But yeah, yeah no, for real. 
whenever she comes. <laughs> and and she, she will be there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, rip, rip. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, bro. You'll see. <laughs> and you'll remember, Spotter told me. I'll make sure you remember. Be like, hey, remember on April 9th, 2020, 10 o'clock my time, about 1 a.m. your time? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Okay, so I'm um, Icon 157. What you got, homie? 141. Yeah, dude, we're like, turn it up, man. We got this. Get some sleep, buddy. Yep, you too, dude. I'll see you soon. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day. Have good. a great tomorrow. Enjoy your Friday. We only live once, guys. Let's make it an amazing life. And uh, yeah, stay positive.